gonna crash my car over this cake box. This is super cute. I really like the kitchen, this island. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's so much stuff. I don't even know what to get. Let's get the clothes and the other stuff. I can't even make a dick. Pants are entirely too long, but I think it's cute. Got my hair done. I have baby fever. Do I have any business having another baby? No. Will I be having another baby? What do you think about this? Do you think this looks okay? Does it look good? Coochie crumbs. <laughs> Monday, welcome back to a weekly vlog. Vlog, we gonna see. Anyways, girl, we got a lot to do this week. Um, the main focuses of this week, though, are we're looking at houses. That's what we're about to get ready to go do here in a minute. And then also we have um, our brother's baby shower this weekend. And then we gotta get our last minute stuff because we're going to the DR in officially one week and seven days. Today's Monday. I'm super super excited. And like I said, we're getting ready to head out to go look at houses. But before we do that, I just want to say thank you to Team U for sponsoring today's video. We got some goodies in that I'm really excited to show you guys. So we're just going to do like a little mini haul. And I'm going to show you guys everything that I got from the site. There we go. I'm, I'm looking for the good lighting. There it. No, no, no. Okay. I'm going to switch y'all back up here. We got a lot of stuff. I'm not going in any particular order. I'm just going to show y'all what I got. Okay, I got this mini humidifier to go in my room right by my bed, but I like it because it's so compact and small for like a humidifier, you know what I'm saying? I'm plugged this in beside my bed. Some of this stuff is gonna seem just like kind of random, but I felt like that was what I really liked about like the site. It's like you can get like any and everything off of there. Okay, like, everything so I got a couple of clothing pieces. This is like just like a one piece jumpsuit. And I like these cause I feel like it's cool for the summertime. Like I can wear this to the park when I go out with like the kids and stuff, you know what I mean? So I'm really into those right now. Let me just do the, the rest of the clothes first. I opened some of the stuff already, but some of it is gonna be like first impression. Okay, I got these tanks. I'm always wearing my little cropped tank tops around the house. So I picked up a pack of neutral colors and these are like super stretchy and the material is really, really nice and comfy and cozy. So they're just gonna be to lounge in. So I got a pack that came with gray, black. This cream color is really cute. Ooh, I really like this cream. And then more of like a tan or neutral color. We love, we love. Okay. I also got a swimsuit, because y'all know I'm gonna go out of town. Again with my rounds. But anyways, yeah, like I said, they have everything on here. I thought this was super cute, because it's like a one shoulder, but it's also like high-waisted enough to like cover up your, or my little belly. Okay, the little, little fupa, it's got a little fupa control, but it's also still like cute and has like some cuts in it. So I thought that would be a cute little bathing suit for vacay. And this is like one of the things I was like super excited for. I got these slippers on there and I think they are so cute. They've got like memory foam in there, so they're really squishy. I'm excited for those. So I got this little hair microfiber towel. It's so soft and I've been needing one of these to like wrap my hair up when I take a shower or just to like dry my hair and the other ones I had, like the material that they were made out of, like they kept getting all like stuff, like lint and stuff all over them from the dryer and the other clothes. But this is like, it's not the same. It's not, it's like true microfiber. It's not like that towel texture. It's more like a soft microfiber cloth. So we got a little jewelry box that I'm gonna use to take with me when I travel. So it's got like a place for rings, necklaces, bracelets, all that. So I'm gonna put all my stuff in here and then put it on my carry-on for the trip. This was one of my favorite things also. I've been wanting one of these for so long and they had it on there for so inexpensive. I was like, oh yeah, that's tea. Let me show y'all. It's one of these like little um, like nets that go over your food when you're at like a picnic or eating outside. And y'all know I like to take the boys on picnics and even just like having food in the backyard and stuff. like. Just put this over it so the flies and the gnats and the little bugs can't get in. 
I think that is so cool. I actually am gonna order me another one of these because we're gonna have like a Mother's Day brunch over at our house and stuff, so. Anyways, I thought that was cool. And then the last thing that I got was this wig. Okay, first of all, I've been wanting to try this color for so long. It's like, it's like a highlighted, let me show y'all in the light. Can you see her? She is a really pretty color. And I've been wanting to switch it up. Y'all know I've been wanting to like go blonde. I don't know when I'm gonna install it, but I'm definitely excited to try this color on me. I feel like it's gonna be cute for the summer. That's everything I got. So again, thank you to Team U for sponsoring today's video. I will leave all the links for everything that I showed you guys in the description box below, along with my promo code if you're interested in checking them out. But if you've never went on their site, just go on there and girl, literally search anything that you're looking for and you will find it on that website for the low, low. And all the shipping was really fast. Like I got all my stuff in like really quickly after I ordered it too, so thank me later. You can literally search any, like literally. Oh look, I almost forgot one thing I got on. I don't want this so bad. And I seen it on there and I was like, oh, got it. They have kitchen, like they literally have everything. Okay. And I'm, I'm done, let's go. All right, so we're at the first house. Let me give y'all the specs. I believe this one, this is not the one that I'm super, super excited about, but it's just like, you know, we're house hunting. So let's go look at a couple of them. Also, Aaron's not with me because he went to work this morning. So, okay, so this is a three bed, five bath. So yeah, it is sitting on 0.32 acres. So that just means the backyard is gonna be really big. I've been really impressed with the backyards lately in these um, houses, but it's definitely more of like a cozy house like which is my vibe i've never really wanted like just like huge enormous space we have to have a lot of space because we have a lot of people living in the house if you get what i'm saying but i like something that's kind of still feels like homey and cozy if that makes sense and this house is a little bit on the smaller end of square footage wise but the way it's laid out i feel like it would be just like comfy which i don't mind which is why i wanted to look at it the master ensuite is very 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 beautiful I and mean, i like the finishes in this house but i don't think it's gonna even compete with the next house that we're about to see but we gonna see girl we gonna see i'm excited to just look at it but yeah this is so exciting i really didn't think we were gonna end up here to be honest i really didn't think we was gonna end up here but here we are oh what did i just do the car is moving up and down oh freak what did i do the car will go up like you can like raise this car up it's the craziest thing I, I didn't even know it did all this i just pressed something and i think the, the back went down oopsie gotta go and then i'm so sorry y'all i had to mute myself in the last couple ones that we want to go look at because i smack my gum so hard and i chew so loud it is so disgusting i apologize as i put some gum in my mouth all right i don't want this battery to die so let me stop talking This is super cute. I really like the kitchen. This island yeah, is this insane. Is this is definitely a kitchen, like Instagram. Yes, content, okay? Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. Listen, this. Oh, this is really cute, too. Yeah, yeah I like this. I like the pantry. Most, like, Laundry room, yeah, it's pretty big. There's room for a big fridge. Yes. This is so cute. I love it because it's like, it feels cozy. Like, oh. yeah, I really like that. Yeah. Oh, this is the biggest backyard we've seen so far. Ooh. That is insane. Yo, these embers though? Are nice. Yeah. It's only three though, I think. That was the yeah, only thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is nice. Oh yeah. This one is definitely the better, like pay attention to the detail. Yeah. Oh. This is cute. The shower. It's very tight right here though. Toilet. I mean it's perfect for a kid. This would be Carter's room by himself. Is this a little is this considered a room or is this like loft? It's a, I think it's a loft. loft. Yeah, okay. it doesn't have the open. Right there. You could close it in. I don't think it would be that hard. Oh, shoot. Is this the master? This is so cute. This is so cute. 
Okay. Oh my gosh, did you see the little door? Did you see the little door? No. To the, to the attic? No. Oh, that is terrible. where I didn't see the pool. Yeah. That is cute. Oh, wow. That is I left my freaking memory card for the other camera at home, y'all. So I'm recording on my phone when I go in the houses, but it's my first. Oh, sorry. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to. We probably have to hold y'all. Okay, we holding it down today. Anyways, I really liked the house. It's definitely one of my top houses as far as finishes go. The backyard is insane. That house has so much potential. So while I'm keeping in mind that I would potentially only stay here for a couple years, buy another house and then rent that house out, that could still be a house that I could come back to and put a guest home there. There's so much potential in that house because the backyard is literally so huge. You could do a pool, you could do a basketball court, you could do a guest house. Like you could do all of that literally in that backyard and still have yard space. It is ginormous and all the finishes in the house are exactly what I would want. The only thing that I didn't like about it was that the master bedroom didn't have a bathtub, which is, you know, a little bit of an issue for my bath addiction. Besides that, I really liked it. There was like technically an upstairs playroom that wasn't closed off. If we didn't want the boys to share, we could just close it off and then it would become a fourth bedroom. So that is also an option. It would be very easy. Like it's just a small little opening that we would have to close off. And then that could be one of the boys bedrooms or we could leave it open and then they could sleep together but then they could have a dedicated playroom and then there is a small space that's like an office downstairs but we would probably more so use it as like a seating room for entertainment since the living room is not super large it's like pretty cozy we would probably put like a table in there to like play games or entertain or something like that like a seating area basically as opposed to an office because I've come to find like since I've had an office in the home that we've moved into and even with the other place that we lived in before the house we're in now I didn't really utilize the office too too much so it's not something that's like super high up on my list I would rather use it for other things but I'm absolutely in love with the finishes of that house I think that that was definitely one of my top houses as far as my vibe and what I like it's hard word all throughout they paid attention to a lot of the details the kitchen island I don't even think y'all can probably get how big it is based on the video but it's literally insanely huge I've never seen a kitchen island that big before it's amazing there's so much space in there. I'll definitely have to learn how to cook. Okay, because baby, it's a lot of space. But I just think it has a lot of potential. So anyways, yeah, we're headed to the next one. The next one we're going to is not actually the one that I want to see the most. That one's going to be at the very end. The ones we're going to see right now, I honestly don't have an idea in my head of what they look like or the specs because I think these are ones that my rules are found. So I'll just see you guys when we get there. I don't really know what to expect because I don't have these pulled up on my phone. So yeah, the last one I'm still really excited to see. I think you guys are going to be like, whoa. But she said like it's super popular and so many people are looking at it. So I don't know. I don't want to get too attached to one idea of something in my head because I'm not going to get into bidding wars and stuff like that, especially because the interest rates are so high. Like that's just not something I'm interested in doing. I'm just kind of like, it is what it is type of thing. Like if it's meant to be, it'll be. If it's not, then it's not. But I think the potential for a rental property at this home would be a very good income because it has like a ton of shit or Airbnb. I don't know how I feel about Airbnb anymore, but that's a topic for another day. So anyways, see you there. How cute is this? this is and then what's back here? A little closet? This is cute. Yeah, it is a little storage closet. My Christmas tree could go in there. You have one of the tall Christmas trees here? Yeah. Oh, this is pretty. Not that I got this little mini. This is so pretty. I do not like the shower. No. Seen it. The master is nice. It's right off the front of the house, which I, I really actually do like. Yeah. Because I would rather be the first person by the door than like if, any, yeah, if anything like, happened. Like, the kids, the are, kids closer, are too close, close to the door. Now, that like scares me. Oh, this is so cute. This like, is the stairs going downstairs. That's really dope. Cool, yeah. This is the exact table and chairs I want. Like if they would leave this for me, yeah, I'll take it, please. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> buy the furniture. Yeah. Do it. Oh, wait, is this the C B two Dunewood table? Uh, these look like CB2 or Amazon dupe chairs. Yeah. Okay, this. Oh, yeah, this little, like, this is so popular. The space in here is just insane. This is cute. Oh, this is different going down the stairs to the rest of the house. Mm -hmm. Tile down here. Storage. Yeah. A bedroom. Oh, these are really good sized bedrooms. Laundry's down here. 
All the kids can do their own laundry. Oh. The deck. There's no attached bathrooms. It just Yeah, that's weird. And it's only got one sink. This one is a... And it's got no tub. Oh, there's a, there's a garage, I guess. Oh, okay. That's all I was gonna say, all right. Driveway, there's still a lot of space over here. It's a good size. Hello? Girl, we have a lot of time. I accidentally booked it for an hour. Okay. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we're good. Okay, see you there. Okay. Okay, I'm very pleasantly surprised by that house we just looked at. The only thing I could say is like it's super far out from where we want to be. We're about a good 20 25 minutes from the city now, and we're like deep over on the south side which is not ideal but i think that house could potentially be a contender i feel like it has a lot of entertainment space with the backyard all of the bedrooms are downstairs and the master is on the first floor which i do kind of like all the boys would have their own bedroom but there's only one bathroom that they would all have to share downstairs and there's no bathtub so that's a little bit of a turn off plus there's not even a bathtub in the master either which is yeah, I don't like that, but it was very cute. It was very unique. It was kind of like, I feel like a mix of different styles. Now I can't say exactly what styles those are because I'm not, you know, an interior designer, but it just felt like it was kind of like mixed with, I don't know, like European farmhouse type of vibes is what it was giving me, but I really did like it. I thought it was super cute. It's in like a very quiet, very mature neighborhood, which I do really like but I don't know if it has a ton of renting potential because of the location. It is listed pretty low for the amount of square feet that you get though. So there's definitely some upgrades and some different things that I would do to it. So it's not like perfectly my style. And I feel like it's not really open concept because the living room is kind of towards the front of the house and the dining space and like a seating area is kind of off the kitchen. So it's not ideal, but I did like it. I thought it was very cute for sure. I feel like it would be a very cute Airbnb. It gives like getaway type vibes. Like it's very secluded. The backyard is great for entertaining. There's enough space to put in a pool and it's definitely giving me like Airbnb vibes because it's just very unique in the design aspect of it. But those are my thoughts. We're headed over to the one that I really, really want to look at. So let's go see what that one's hitting for. It's like booked all day. Like it's super popular. I can see why when y'all see it, I think y'all are going to be like, okay, because it's got a game room for the kids. Kids, plus an adult entertainment area with a separate kitchenette set. It's got a rooftop deck and a big backyard, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm like, yeah, and it's closer to the city and it's not really listed that high, which is what I feel like they did that on purpose though, because if people start putting in offers for it, it's gonna start like a bidding war, which I'm not gonna do. It is very, very, very. So let's go see it. I'm excited. I'm in love with this. Okay, let's see what's behind door number one. I'm kind of nervous because that back door is like a <laughs> look at this sink. Be so fucking cool. Is it bad? Uh oh. <laughs> what is that? Dang, the gray does make it like it's just. Oh, I feel like you can smell when you walk in the house. Oh. And then they messed it up with this damn carpet. But it's cute. Oh, holy shit. Oh. This room is huge. This is really cute. This is cute. Oh. This is cute. Oh, in the bedroom? Yeah. Tiny though. Tiny closet. This for sure. It's giving my first bedroom. Would you want them to rip the carpet out and just have Oh, there's two loft areas. Oh, there's another bathroom right, right here. My thing is, it's not staged. Is that just... That is, uh, yeah. I was like, this little doggy been loaded up in here. Okay. This one's, like, why is it a half bath? This is the balcony I would want on the master. Look at this. This is Oh, nice. yeah, this definitely... Bathroom, right? This has a this bathroom? One, is it a Jack and Jill? Where it connects? No. Bathroom? It's not. Which is nice. I'm gonna feel the 
I don't know why they would put doors there. This, this is cute. Right here? Oh, okay. So. Yes. This is a cute Yo. little entertainment space. Let me put some nice grass. Yeah. Kids, yeah. Not that they would be up here. They can have the huge. What would you yeah. even do with all this? Work? Okay. What did y'all think about that house? I feel like surprisingly, I was underwhelmed. And that's how I've been on the past like couple of houses that I really thought I was going to like with the pictures versus actually seeing it in person. I liked it, but I didn't like the finishes that they put in the house as far as like the gray paint. I feel like it made it feel so dark. And just, it was overall just really dark in there. Like there was a lot of windows, but it just didn't feel like a lot of light was coming in. I don't know if it's like the time of the day or maybe the way the house is facing. It's just not receiving a lot of light, but I didn't like how dark it felt. However, I think the potential of that house for being like a rental property or an Airbnb would be really, really good after we lived there for like two years because it has that massive rooftop deck. There's a ton of just like different entertaining areas. So it doesn't feel very family oriented. It feels like a very entertainment style house, which is, again, I have to keep the mindset of, I'm not thinking about this being like our forever home, more of like, an investment pawn on the big checkered or chess boards. But yeah, it just doesn't feel very family, like that warm and cozy, charming. It's just very entertainment. And we don't entertain a lot, but also it's enough space where it's nice that we have it if we decide to, if that makes sense. It has a lot of potential, I will say that. The backyard on it though was the smallest backyard we've seen, but I definitely think like the rooftop deck makes up for that. It's got a garage. The neighborhood, it's in like one of the same neighborhoods as the couple of houses that we looked at, but it's probably in the worst location. Right across the street is a church. And so when you're looking out of the window, that's what you see as your view, which is not very appealing. Not that there's nothing wrong with it being a church, but it's just not like the curb appeal is not there for sure. But that area is up and coming. So I don't think that everything Everything is there that's there right now will be there necessarily long term i think it's a good investment as far as in a couple years like not even just in two years but in like years like five ten years like it'll be worth way more than what it is now i think anything that we look at has good potential for just being worth a lot more in a couple years because of the developing areas like dfw is just booming in general it's a good place to buy real estate right now because they're just doing so many gentrifications basically <laughs> so i do like it i don't know I didn't like that it had carpet and technically it's only three bedrooms, which was like a turnoff because ideally every kid would have their own bedroom. Like I said, if they don't, then Carson and Mello would share a room. The only reason why I would be okay with it just being a three bedroom is because right when you come out of both of the kids' bathrooms, you're going into a loft space. So there's technically three different loft or media areas in the home. So I definitely think we could live there for sure. Like we could live there for two years, especially while the kids are younger because the media space is not really that big. Y'all feel free to leave me your comments and opinions. I wish Aaron would have been there to see them with me. It's just hard. Like I feel like they're all really nice. I just feel like they all have a lot of potential. I mean, with the backyard space and at the other properties, I feel like you could build onto that. You could expand from that. And it's always good to have like extra land, you know? So I don't know. I, I really like all of them. I feel like it's really hard to choose. So hold on. Una momento, por favor. Okay. I'm about to go back and kind of like look at them and just like X some off the list. We're still supposed to go look at a few more after my realtor gets out of her meeting at 12. So I'm gonna probably just grab myself some lunch, work on a little bit of edits until she calls me and then we'll go look at some more houses today. That's pretty much just the whole plan for today is just kind of like look at some houses. But I do wanna start knocking some things off the list as we go. But then, you know, just in case, like you could always put in an offer and it could be rejected or somebody else could outbid you or whatever. So I still don't wanna just, you know, be dead set on one. Like I wanna have a couple that I'm like, okay. So anyways, that's the plan. What else? I think that was it. Anyways, I'm gonna put the actual camera this time. I just have my phone. You need like the small SD card to go in here and I accidentally left it at home because I was importing footage yesterday. So I was gonna go buy Chick-fil-A, but the line was long. So I think I'm just gonna low key Uber Eats. I wanna get Kava, but I guess I could just take my computer and go down to Kava. I don't really have to stay at home. I didn't know how long her meeting was gonna be, but I'm gonna grab my head phones and then probably just go eat lunch at Kava and work on my computer at Kava. It'll be nice to kind of like get out of the house anyways too. I don't really do that very often or go sit out and work anywhere. So let's go put a little SD card in this camera. I'm gonna grab my computer and I'll meet y'all at Kava. Hi. 
Hi. Can I have a bowl with romaine and white rice? Good morning, guys. Happy. Be Tuesday. It's Tuesday. So we went and looked at a couple houses yesterday, as you guys know, and we are going to go ahead and make an offer on a house. We're still going to go and possibly look at some more houses today, but there was one house that we really, really liked. I'm not going to tell you guys which exact one yesterday, if it was from last week or yesterday, but anyways, we found one that we really, really liked and we're so we're going to go ahead and put an offer in on the house. So I just wanted to come and share with you guys or show with you guys guys what I'm going to be doing for that process and just kind of like how we got here because it kind of moved pretty quickly for some people I think the buying process is like different for everybody so basically when I decided I was just going to be like let's see what we can qualify for for a house before we just give up and like go back to renting I found a lender and I found my lender through my realtor and we submitted the home loan applications with our tax returns and bank statements and then they basically run your credit y'all know and, and then they basically tell you what you can qualify for but with my lender I was able to ask for a certain amount that I wanted to qualify for and they approved me for that amount so I don't know if that's how it works for everybody but basically I got approved for the amount that I was looking for with a certain amount down and I think I did three or five percent down I don't remember exactly but anyways so once we got approved then you get the approval letter just showing that you're already approved for the home loan which makes buyers take you a little bit more seriously and you might need it to tour some properties personally for one of the properties that we toured they wanted us to have it they're only letting people who are pre-qualified tour the home so anyways that's just something to keep in mind but then after that obviously we went to go look at multiple different houses in the areas that we were interested in and so now to Day, since there was an open house for one of the houses we really liked and we are gonna assume that people might put an offer in because if we liked it other people are probably gonna like it I just feel like it would be it would be perfect lucky so anyways 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 so I texted my road so this morning we we're talking about it so we decided we're gonna put in an offer today she was like something that you can do to give like a more personal connection between you and the seller is to write a letter along with your offer for the home so she sent me an example of what she did when she bought her home but I think I'm gonna go on to canva and i'm going to show you guys while i do it but it's basically just going to be like a little template and it's going to have like pictures of me and my family and it's just going to say like we are the davis family we are interested in like purchasing your home for this reason it's just like a short little paragraph but what i did because i'm so bad at writing stuff y'all is i went on chat gbt okay do you know what chat gbt is you got to and i basically put in there like can you write me a letter based on this home we are a family of five we have three boys we really like the backyard of this home and yeah so so they, the chat GPT was like, gave me this template and it says, my family and I recently viewed your home and we were instantly drawn to the spacious backyard. As first time home buyers, we are thrilled at the prospect of owning a property as wonderful as yours and providing the perfect home for our three boys. The backyard is absolutely stunning and offers endless opportunities for our family to enjoy outdoor activities. We can imagine our kids running freely, playing games while we sit back and relax and enjoy the nature in the backyard oasis. As parents, the safety and happiness of our children is our top priority and with ample outdoor space of your home provides, to enable us, our boys, plenty of opportunities to play exercise in a secure natural environment we love to have the opportunity to make your home our new family home and we believe that this would be a perfect place for our boys to grow up and create childhood memories that was the second one that it wrote the first one that it wrote was i hope this letter finds you well i recently came across your home and i must say i was amored with the beauty and the charm of this property it seems like the perfect place to start this new chapter in our life i was particularly impressed with the location the wonderful architecture and the attention to detail in your home i can imagine warm inviting atmosphere perfect for entertaining guests and creating memories with loved ones i'm interested in purchasing your home blah 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 etc so you guys get what i'm saying basically so now i'm gonna go on to canva and i'm just gonna find a simple cute let me spread out i low-key am drawn towards this one i would probably just make pictures maybe a little bit smaller like this like take the pictures up and then we have a little bit more space for writing i don't know i just think maybe i was drawn to the aesthetic of this one but it's gonna basically just say like the davis family right here hold on let me see if i can put y'all down i know this is probably like the worst okay there we go that angle's a little bit better okay so we got the davis family can i spell make it smaller i'm just gonna put the davis family no y'all know we're not married but you know we're trying to give the vibes okay i don't want to put the walker and davis family that would be doing too much 
And technically we're common law married, so I don't want to hear anything about it either in the comments, okay? Thank you! <laughs> but I was thinking about using one of our pictures from Disney. Because we low-key don't have just like so many pictures together as a family. We need to go have family pictures or portraits taken. But I felt like Disney was giving the right type of family vibes. And we have this one. Edit photo. I need to crop the um photo. Where is the crop button? Edit photo. You can't really see the whole Disney. Do you think they'll still know that that's the Disney world in the back? I can't tell. Okay, this font is probably like a little bit too small. I'm gonna change it to something a little thicker. And probably do all caps too. I'm gonna erase it and do the Davis family. That font is also ass. Can y'all still see? Let me go back to the big screen. It's too thin. We need like a drop shadow on here. I feel like this picture is really not the best picture, but I don't really know if we have a better picture than this. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Maybe get a little family shot or something. Yeah, I'm probably gonna pick a different picture. I'm not really digging that one, but I'm gonna have to go look through my camera roll really fast and just see if I can find a better one. We have this one, but I don't really like this one either. This is the other one that I have, but I don't really like this one. We'll just see. I'm gonna download it to my phone. Okay, so basically this part is where I'm gonna put the, let me, I'm gonna go look at the one that my realtor sent me. Yeah, see, maybe I just, I need to wait on her. I think we need like a bigger template than this. Basically show you guys the whole thing when it's done. I gotta find some more or like better pictures. I'm just gonna play around with like the colors because I don't like those colors. Hello, it's a lot later. I finished doing my little letter to the seller on Canva. So I'll insert a little picture right here so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, but <sighs> look how hungry, okay? It's a whole lot later. I've been editing all day. If y'all hear the construction in the background, sorry. I still have a little bit to finish up. I have to like upload the video and stuff. So I'm waiting on that. I'm out of breath because we got Chipotle home. We're finally gonna get to try the Keith Lee quesadilla, which I think is spilling all over the place. Why is it spilling? Maybe it's just cold? I don't know. I'm hungry, child. I should go sit down at the table, but my computer was upstairs. I didn't feel like taking it downstairs and all that, so maybe I should sit at my desk and eat this instead of that in the bed. I'm just so fat, I can never be patient when it comes to eating. This is too much. I gotta get up the bed. That's the whole reason why I got chairs in my room. But I also need to share this video really fast. When I tell y'all, editing is a whole task. I've been doing this since this morning. It's low key because I just, I didn't procrastinate, but I just got busy. So now I'm kind of brushing it the last minute. Okay, let's eat and chat about what we think about this meal. Okay, so basically I got the chicken El Pastor quesadillas. I'm trying to like show y'all, but it's still be in the frame. It's not a good angle. Anyways, I also got a side of chip. This is what it looks like. I guess you can like dip it in this stuff. You're supposed to get sour cream with the vinaigrette, I'm pretty sure, but it wouldn't let me order. This vinaigrette is good. This is very good. Mm. This is so good. All right, hello. Very chaotic transition from eating Chipotle to in the car. And I know y'all hate this angle, but it's the best I can do right now just to catch you up really fast. My realtor ended up hitting me up and we're about to go see a couple more houses. But before that, I had to run out of the house, grab the kids, come back home. And then Carter and Carson are going to get their hair done with their dad. So I have Mello with me. My phone's gonna die. So we just running off vibes at this point. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to like catch y'all up really fast. I had to finish my Chipotle real quickly and then now we just getting into the motion of going to look at some more houses. So I'll see y'all when we get to the first house. Hide all your stuff away. Oh, how cute. I love this glass room. Like, the kitchen. Nice. Yeah. Light 
light neutrals is my vibe. Which I don't love, but this gray is, is nice. Okay, yeah. there's a lot of storage back here. Stuff out there. It's... And I feel like this one, they would go there. Like, when I looked at it, I like the trees all over the like yard though. I think that's just very pretty. Like the big older yeah. trees. Um, but it's like, all right, well, it's like you make your break. I don't have the floor to ceiling vaulted windows. Vaulted ceilings. Oh, that's yeah. really nice. Oh yeah, Ooh. I do like this master. Oh, this is a master. It's nice though. So nice. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's getting so spoiled like off. Yeah. The tub is literally, first, in the little tub, that's the, probably the biggest one I've seen. It's huge closet. See? Yeah, this is very like spa like. But this, I used to, you wake up and you're in this. Weighs so much. It's so cute. I love all these windows. I don't like the other one. Maybe it was, mm -hmm. it was overlooking the scene. They're not gonna want to see us out here on the ceilings are really high. Do you guys want to try it again so you can have a girl? Oh, look, there's a second closet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he can put all his shit right in there. You're like, this is where you're stepping <laughs> in your room. Ooh, I love that it has a sink in there already with a little sprayer. Oh, that's cute. A study? This right here. Oh. Maybe they consider I mean, it. I it's like a little. They probably consider this right yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this room. Yes. Windows, it's a decent size. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. One sink. This room's super big and bright, too. Huge. Yeah, this is huge. Okay, my thoughts and opinions on that one was it's super super nice i'm like all red because we were standing outside talking for a minute but anyways it's super super nice like if we couldn't get like a single family home because technically that's like a duplex so it's half of a house or you have a neighbor right next to you which i'm not really fond of especially for the price but this location is it's over in like the oaklawn area which is really close to the kids school it's literally right downtown like you just gotta get on the highway and you're there in literally like two minutes so i love this area however like i said it's just a three bedroom two and a half bath so it's on the smaller side the yard is smaller so it kind of just feels more townhome vibes but it is very nice like the upgrades and the things that they did in the home with like just the little plugs the outlets the switches just like things like that the bathroom literally feels like a spa walking in there the floor to ceiling windows it's giving like high rise type of vibes like we're over in the city like it's giving what the city vibes are which i like a lot but i have three kids so i just have to be obviously mindful of that because really for me i would pick the location over anything obviously i want to have i want it to be enjoyable for the kids so yeah with that being said we are going to keep that one in the back of our head we obviously still have to put in our offers for the other houses and you just never know what's going to happen so we are looking at multiple homes and we're on our way to look at another Another one that's also in a really popular area it's listed pretty high because of the location but we're gonna go look at it anyways and just see what the area looks like what the vibe is I'll see y'all when I get there I'm really sorry I wish I could like get more aesthetic videos or montages of the homes I'm trying to carry mellow in one arm and then every time I feel like I go to take a video I either don't have my camera my phone's gonna die so I'll also try to insert just like pictures of the home that they have on the listing so you guys can, you know, also get a better idea. Anyways, child, TTYL. But I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I, I can already tell. Like, yeah, yeah I think they have it listed high. I mean, yeah, if you compare it to the other ones that are listed lower, you know, a lot of people don't want to live in Trade Girls just yet because it's not, it's not do it though. Oh, yeah. oh, and they put the shades back. That's cool. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah. They would ride their bikes in their stuff. Mine was a remodel, and my foundation was this. Yeah. Oh, look, it's a big closet in here. Oh, this is nice. This is real nice. Got drawers. Oh yeah, this is really cute too. White lights. Look at the chandelier and the spa. The tub is not that big. Is it the Samsung one? Yeah. 
That is kind of cute. Most people do not include the fridge with it. Yeah. Dang, that's nice. And it has a wine fridge. Mm-hmm. We don't even use ours now. I'm like, it's got the pull-out trash chute, which is nice. Oh, I don't At least they put white lights in and they put yellow lights in. Is that the movie? Is it there? Is it on your TV? Mm -mm. Adult flex space? Yeah. Oh, there is a balcony. I did see that on there. So how many bedrooms is it? It's four. Four. This one's four bedrooms. The bedrooms oh, are big. Yeah, like it's like I wonder why there's two sinks for one person. Yeah. Hi. It's the next day. I didn't talk to y'all yesterday after I got out of the car because I just came home and I was really tired. I came home, took a bath, left the kids with their daddy and I went to sleep. So anyways, we're going to do a quick haul of the things that I've been wanting to show you guys. So I've gotten a couple of packages in the mail these last couple days. But the agenda for the day is basically just to go to Target and Home Depot. I think we need to go to Home Depot. I basically want to build this little basket for my brother and his girlfriend for their baby shower that's this weekend. And I just want to do something like real cute, a little aesthetic gift, you know, the vibes. So we're going to go by Target after we do this. I did already get out of the house this morning, but I just went back to look at one of the houses or the house that I want to put the offer in on just to do like a double take. Cause I think I told you yesterday we were putting an offer in on the house and then we were just kind of like chatting about it. I saw a few more houses yesterday and then I was kind of like okay I want to go back one more time to just like make sure and while we were there the builder actually happened to stop by at the same time which is so nice because he was super sweet and he like walked us through the house and like showed us so many other features and things that I didn't even like see the first time we were just walking around I was asking him a few questions about this and that and like you know the possibilities of like putting a pool in the backyard and probably like what that would look like cost wise and stuff like that so yeah there is a lot of other cool features that I got to see today about the house that made me like okay like let's just do it put the offer in because i haven't seen anything better at this point yet we still have plenty of time so if this don't, one doesn't work out then we'll just keep looking we have more than enough time to find the home so anyways yeah that's just a little update i literally walked the backyard though and i got mud all over my leggings and my shoes and just everything because it's been storming since last night and it started raining again today and i didn't realize it was going to be that muddy but I was wrong. Anyways, okay, let's get into the haul. I got a mo few more pieces for vacation because I think the last vlog I saw, y'all saw me, we were trying on everything and we needed one more club fit and one more dinner outfit. But the dinner outfit that I needed had to be pink because the friends that I'm going with, they want to do like a pink, you know, like monochromatic look for dinner one night. So I got a pink outfit, but let me show y'all the shoes that I got off Amazon. <laughs> Can you, can you peep what these are supposed to look like? Very similar to the Bottega heel. It's the netted version. I got the green just because they, I saw it on there. I don't have anything to really wear with these, but I just got them at the same time because they were low in stock. So I'll link them for you guys, but they might be sold out soon. Usually the stuff on Amazon comes back in stock though. Anyways, I got these. I think they're so cute. I've been wanting to get the little or like eyeing these every time I go to Neiman, the Bottega ones, but I never really had an outfit to wear with them until now. I needed a white pair for a vacay look. So I got another pair, but they're not white. I, I, I got white, but these are like cream. So they're not even gonna go with the outfit. So low key, I still probably gotta go find like a little white shoe. I'm gonna go shopping again at the mall to get any other last minute stuff that I need tomorrow and Friday, but that's gonna be a whole separate vlog. Like me getting ready for the trip and then like the vlog of the trip is gonna be its own separate video just so we can keep it all cohesive, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I got these. I still think they're super cute. I might still take them with me, but I don't know. They're just not white. I wanted like a pure white shoe to match the bag that I got. I also got some sunglasses off Amazon. I'm not really digging them. I feel like I'm more of a sunglass shop in person type of girl. I like the straight across frame though, but these were really not good. But I just needed some accessories, you know, to go with my outfits. I also do not like these. <laughs> but they could be cute on the top of my head. Like I don't, you know, I don't know. I was just trying to get like little quick accessories to match the looks. You get what I'm saying? And then, Fashion Nova has really been hitting lately. So I ended up getting two more things off of Fashion Nova. Sorry, my realtor. Anyways, we were asking about negotiating little things about the house because ideally I want a taller fence on the backyard of the house and that would be pretty expensive because all the backyards, y'all know we saw, like they're all 
pretty big. I'm trying not to give away which house that we picked because I want it to be like a surprise for you guys if we get it. Like if we don't, I'll tell you like this is the one that I that I wanted to get. But I just wanted to be a surprise. I feel like that would be fun, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, we've been going back and forth just about little things and the fence was one of the things that we're trying to like negotiate into the price if they can redo the fence before we move in would be nice but i did get the builder's contact information so even if not he was like i can do everything so i would probably just ask him to do it anyways but okay let's get back to the fits i'm so excited you guys i'm trying not to hype myself up about this house because i'm like if i fall in love with this house too much and then i don't get it or we get into like a bidding war because there was an open house and there's other people that are also interested in it but we would be the first people to put in an offer in it i'm only going so high on the house because realistically the house is still only a certain amount of square feet so it doesn't make sense to pay like an outrageous amount for it but anyways i'm excited but i'm also nervous but i know everything will work out the way it's supposed to be so i'm not tripping on it i got this little fit inserts picture of what it looks like on the model because i always be saying i'm not going to try it on and then later in the vlog i'll be like fuck it i'm gonna <laughs> I'm about to put it on. I need to know what it looks like before I pack it, but I think this is gonna be cute and it's just sheer. I'm probably gonna wear my brown bathing suit underneath it. I feel like I could just throw that on, wear it to the club. It came with these pants. The pants are not mesh like the top though. They are lined with white, which I feel like is nice so you don't have to worry about your booty being out or whatever, but I can wear a brown bra or like I said, swimsuit top with this and I think it would be cute. So yeah, it was just something I thought would be like cute, casual club. It. anyways y'all get what i'm trying to say i hope those little shoes right there can look go with that those cream shoes this can go together now we gotta find like a cream bag and that's the problem or a brown bag i was gonna go try to find a brown purse today because i looked on amazon but i just didn't really see any that i really liked i kind of like the style of the jacquemez bag for the outfit that i want to wear with it but i don't think they have the brown bag in stock at the neiman near me this is what I got for my little pink. Oh my lord, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. Y'all kept telling me and I convinced myself that I was a medium. This is gonna be too big. Watch me put it on and it fits perfectly. Anyways, but it looks, it does look big, like just to go around my, my body and then it only just zips up. I might try this on really quickly. But anyways, it's like a two-piece pants set. I was originally going to wear my pink dress from Rat and Boa, but I'm going to save it for Puerto Rico when I go with my man because it's just giving like a little bit sexier, a little bit dressier. I will say the quality of this is not really giving, but we can make it do what it do. It's also very, very bright pink, but it's okay. I was going to get something that was more like casual, flowy, long sleeve, but I know one of my other friends is wearing that exact kind of like two piece. So I didn't want to like be super matchy matchy since we're already wearing pink. So I decided to go with the pantsuit instead. I feel like I can just slip this on with my leggings. Oh, I should have got a small. I should have got a small. It's all right. Those were too easy to put on. Or maybe does that mean they fit? <laughs> I am delusional about my size. I don't think I'm actually going to like this. And I have to wear like super tall heels with it because these pants are so baggy. Okay, let me throw the top on really fast. Let's see if she takes me back. Ooh la la. We were going to go look at another house today, but I don't know. I think we're... I was going to lift up my shirt. I don't have no bra on. Close your eyes. Okay. This is what it looks like. The pants are entirely too long, but I think it's cute. Like, I'm not mad at it at all. I put heels on and the pants are still dragging on the floor. And I can't wear a heel bigger than that. Okay, baby? So it's just not going to work. I could maybe go get them hemmed. I'm like, do I really want to take these to go get tailored? I don't know if it's that serious, but it is cute. I feel like it needs to be steamed a little bit. It's cuter than I thought it was going to be. If the top was a small, I feel like my boobs would look like a little bit better in it because they would give it, you know, a little bit of oomph. Right now they're looking sad. My boobs are honestly really way smaller from when I got my, I was going to say reduction but when I got my lips I feel like I did lose a lot of tissue that I really didn't notice more so in the beginning because they were probably swollen for a long time I might get some fat put back into my tatas just to be back to the size I was because like all of my life I've always been like a D double D or triple D like depending on if I was like pregnant or not and I feel like now I'm probably wearing like C I hope a C my friend was like maybe a B I was like don't it's nothing wrong with that don't get me wrong but it's just like I'm used to my body being a certain way so I'm like, I miss my girls okay but I don't regret getting the lift at all. I would take this size with the lift over what I had. The bigger, saggier ones? Yeah, I would still keep this, but 
Anyways, this is cute. I think I'm gonna have a different hairstyle too. It's gonna be cuter. This is a vibe. I actually really like this. I feel like the color is, it could be like maybe a little bit lighter, but I think it's kind of cute. I don't know what shoes or purse I would wear with this though. And I'm trying not to take so many accessories. Yeah, it's the problem. I'm trying to look like what bags did I have that I'm taking. Do we do white? I feel like this white looks really good with it actually. If it wasn't so tall, I could just wear my white sandals too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go find a white heel because those shoes are not white. Hmm. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I might just take these over those. Because these are comfortable, I know for sure. You're not even gonna be able to see the little ankle detail on here. Okay, we might have to go actually buy the white. Anyways, this is cute, right? Yeah, with the white bag. I think the white bag is cute with the white shoe. Or maybe if I could find like gold or something. I didn't name. I didn't name. Alright, I'm gonna change back into my my leggings and my t-shirt and then we're gonna head out to Target so we can go get this stuff to DIY this baby shower basket. I'll show y'all what I'm talking about too. It's like a cute, a cute little basket. Okay, we got our little Oh, we didn't even finish the haul. I'm like, oh, we're gonna leave. We got some more stuff. I got an order in from House of CB, which I've never ordered anything from there before. And then we also got some stuff from Kimberly. Kimberly is gonna take all my money. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I love skins, but close your eyes, please. Close your eyes. Ooh, ooh. So we need like a cream bag. Okay, we gotta make an updated list really fast while it's fresh on my mind or I'll forget. Okay. Alrighty. I also got this from Fashion Nova. It came in a separate order, but I think this is so adorable with like an all denim look. Hopefully it's gonna fit my boobs, but I think it's so cute. I had to get it because it was just in stock. So okay. Miss Kim. I will tell y'all, if y'all saw my muumu that I had on, it's not really like a muumu, but it's kind of like a muumu. I just really like wearing dresses around the house. I'm like pajama wear, because I feel like it's, I was going to say something inappropriate, but anyways. The girls who wear muumus, you get what I'm saying, but this is a cute muumu. It's not like, you know, one of the ones you get from Walmart or anything, which is nothing wrong with those. I did have a couple pair of those, but I ended up, I think, getting rid of them because they were like all Christmas themed. Erin and me had got them one time when we stopped in Walmart for something, but I was like, oh, this is grown woman muumu. This, this one has like the little roses on it, which I think is so adorable. And so I went back and I ordered two more because I literally wear that dress every day. Like I haven't even washed it yet because I just will throw it on and to walk around the house after I take a shower or whatever. But I got it in the white as well. I did order in a size medium and I will say you could probably size down. I feel like the shoulders slip a lot when I'm wearing it, but I hope that when I dry it, then it will, um, I, did I say I got a medium? I got a small, but I low key feel like I could get an extra small, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Hold on, my friend's calling me. Where's my phone? You missed my try on haul. Nope, I'm not. The rest of my stuff that I got from Skims, this is the blue one. And I just thought these are so cute. They're super comfortable. Anyways, last thing that I got from Skims was this bathing suit. It's just the top and the biker shorts that I have in the other colors, but they dropped it in pink. And I was like, oh, this is so, boo, this is so cute. Whatever, huh? Whatever. I'll show you what I got from Fashion Nova though. I got the biker shorts. I think I'm gonna take this on vacation and, and use this for my excursions. That way they can't lose me. I'm in bright pink. You can see me, baby. I might all blend in with the dirt. What if I fall off? All right, we got one more box. Okay, House of CV with the packaging. It's very aesthetic. They've got this nice receipt. And as they should, this shit was expensive. Ooh, look. Oh my gosh, I hope this fits. It looks so big. I keep saying it looks so big and then it fits and then that I feel bad. It's like a little corset top. It's in a medium. I got this outfit to wear for like a little date night. I saw quite a few people have this little set on TikTok and I got the matching pants. So these are like the little trouser pants that go with it. I got these in a size medium as well. But these look like they're gonna be way too long on me for show. Anyways, that was the last little thing that I had got. Okay. That was everything. We're gonna go ahead and head to Target so we can get this stuff for the baby shower and come home and build it. See where the rest of the day takes us. <laughs> this is cute. It's like a like a knitted bag for just for the beach or like if I wear those pink heels. Ooh, I should look and see if Target got some some sandals. I 
I need some white. I need some white heels. Okay, anyways, focus. Let's get the clothes and the other stuff. This is cute. This is aesthetic. Aesthetic. I'm looking, I'm just looking for different stuff and I feel like lost, like I don't know what to get. I feel like I don't want to get a passy because I don't know if she's going to do passies. Your first time, huh? Yeah, and she's breastfeeding so I don't know if she wanted to do pacifiers or not. I know. You can never have enough wipes. This is, this is, this is tea. I feel like there's so much stuff. I don't even know what to get. Oh my lord. Let me just keep it simple and I'm just going to follow what the girl did on her basket. I'm going to get diapers. I'm going to get her the Millie Moon so she can try them out. Because I definitely like these. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm sure y'all could hear me, but I'm, do they have a smaller box? I want to make that little basket, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to get. I look like she get mellow some more diapers while I'm here. Nah, I just got some. Okay. Let's get the honest wipes. I found this little bag for a vacation that I thought was cute. It's like knitted and I have some pink shoes to match. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These little muslin blankets. Should we do giraffes? Or Winnie the Pooh? That's a hard choice. Everybody's not into Winnie the Pooh, so maybe I should get this. I'm smacking my gum so hard, I apologize. I wanted to find a little bear, but they don't have any smaller ones. Okay, we're gonna get clothes, but I wanna match like the colors. So we're gonna keep it like green and these like nudie colors for clothes. So, I guess it doesn't really matter what size it is. Well, what if the baby's born too big? We should low-key get six months just to keep it, be safe. Hmm. I don't like this material. This one is cute. I think this one is cute. I think I'm just gonna get six months just in case. I don't know how big the baby is gonna be. That matches. This is girls. These little outfits are so cute. Do y'all hear that thunder? Oh my lord Jesus. Cute. It's green. Okay. Is there gray? No. There's green though. 
How adorable. Okay, these little bibs. Is this the right colors? It's still monochromatic. Look at this little avocado. One left. Basket. They don't have the like wooden dowels that I need here. I don't think so. We're gonna have to run to Michael's or Walmart, but it's like storming. So I wanna get the food that I'm gonna cook for dinner in here while we're in here. So let's go to groceries. Okay, we're making meatloaf. We also need berries. All right, we're out of Target. We're gonna run by Walmart really quickly just to see if they have the little wooden dowels before I go all the way to Home Depot because Walmart is low key just across the street. We got an offer or a reply back from the agent for the seller and it says, thanks for sending, I'll share the numbers with them. Although the contract still needs to be executed on the builders and we'll wait for this next showing and if they offer tonight before deciding. So basically there was someone else that was coming to see it and I think this would be their second time seeing it just like me, like they came from the open house. I didn't go to the open house, but anyways, you get what I'm saying? Like this is their second time seeing it and see what they offer. Offer. I did offer 10k less than what it's listed for just because the homes that are comparable in the area are way under the price that they have it listed at now this house has something that could make it worth a little bit more again I'm not trying to like I'm trying to give it a surprise but at this point it like it doesn't even matter but anyways there's one thing that this house does have but I also feel like it's not worth what the price that they're tagging onto it necessarily but I do see why they have it priced at that and a lot of the other houses in the neighborhood that were even lower to start out with than that house have already come down more 10k like and 15k more down from what they had it listed at so i wanted to start low because if, if there is a bidding war i didn't want to be the first one to go in and give them like over asking or right at asking because then if someone else does come in and they're like okay well i can do a little bit more and then we get into this whole like i'm not doing that you get what i'm saying so she was like let's just start a little bit lower and we didn't even go that low we went 10k under asking which i feel like is fair because there is a couple things on the home that we would have to do outside so anyways that is basically what the message i just got i'm trying to like keep y'all updated you get what i'm saying we're just kind of going through this in real time but anyways yeah that's a little update she literally just texted me i like signed the contract for the offer i'm okay i'm going to walmart really fast and then i'm going to pick up the kids i told y'all it's been storming all day i don't know if y'all heard that thunder when i was recording while i was in target okay here they go but these are too tall no okay walmart did have what i was looking for but they low-key i feel like they're gonna be too long so i might have to go to home depot anyways and then i want to go to michael's to get some cute stuff and then i was thinking maybe michael's will have some shorter ones but anyways y'all that is me i come we were like crossing paths at the same time and i was like oh you can go he's like no you can go and then he came back in the corner and he was like ma'am do you have a man i was like excuse me he's like do you have a man i was like yeah and he was like okay well you're so gorgeous i was like thank you anyways moral of the story i wouldn't normally just say that but he waited for me to come out the store so i'm coming out the store and i'm looking at my phone he's like excuse me i look up and it's him and was like does your man treat you good like are you gonna say well and i was like uh -huh. 
I didn't even know what to say. He was like, y'all gonna be together? And I was like, yeah, we got three kids together. And he was like, he was polite. Like, he was sweet. It's not weird. And I try not to be, like, super... I don't know. Because, you know, I feel like from my perspective, like, I know a lot of girls kind of like, oh, that's so weird. Like, why would he wait for you? Which I get in a certain extent. Like, when you're a girl, sometimes that can be, like, scary. A random man you don't know. But he was very polite. And he was just like, oh, well, I hope it works out. Whatever. He just trying to shoot his shot. But could y'all imagine? I was thinking about this the other day, which is why I brought it up. Being a guy and, like, having to go out your way to talk to the girls and then be like no nah, I'm good or you know because some girls are mean and be like laugh or just like dismiss you completely you know what I mean stuff like that so I always try to be like polite as long as they're polite I don't like when niggas cow call me if they like hey yo doo -doo, no immediately no like immediately no please please stop because that's just not cute you know what I mean but he was nice he was respectful oh my gosh it's like a six pile car accident what the hell they got flares up in the road and shit that was crazy because the roads are so slick because it's raining but anyways i'm headed to get my kids i was just thinking about that and i always think about that because i have boys too and i know that one day there will be someone who is like you know approach a girl or whatever and i don't want to have them get my generational karma because i was a bitch to niggas does that make sense i don't know that's just stuff i think about especially because i'm a boy mom like dang my boys really gonna have to go out their way to talk to girls <laughs> that's lame could you imagine <laughs> could you imagine having to go up to a man and be like say you're really handsome can i get your no i would never they just have so much courage i would never shoot my shot at a nigga i would never i might give you that look you know that look but that's about it shooting my shot no never okay anyways i'm about to go pick up the boys and then i'm just gonna take them with me to a couple more places like i said we're gonna go to michael's and if they don't have what i'm looking for at michael's then we're gonna go by Ooh, i should swing by and put the groceries up first because i have to pass by my house anyways i'm gonna swing by put the groceries in the fridge so the stuff doesn't go bad then we're gonna go get the kids go to michael's and go to home depot if we need to okay that's the plan ready set oh y'all already know sorry i came back i went to starbucks i got a pink drink and y'all they're out of freaking they discontinued raspberry syrup but if you go to your local target inside the starbucks they might still have it they still had it she was like yeah we'll have it until we run out of it which will probably be for a while i was like oh it's late because the pink drink is not the same without the raspberry syrup and i got two pumps today and i got a cake pop because i haven't eaten anything all day and i'm gonna eat it before i get the kids <gasps> uh -uh. where the f is my cake pop are you kidding me i'm gonna crash my car over this cake pop thank you okay let's check this really fast i can't tell if it's too tall you Well, I didn't know he was coming home early today. Good thing I didn't bring that man home from Walmart. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Well, apparently the kids are going to get their hair cut, so I don't have to take them with me. Or we'll probably all just go really fast since we're going to be in the car. Aaron thinks I'm so messy. I'm not going to say dirty because I'm not dirty. I clean up, but I always make the car junky. And I do. And guess who cleans it? Not me. <laughs> I try to keep it clean up. It's really not that bad. He just be so dramatic. It's really not that bad. Oh my god, this camera battery's about to die. I brought batteries though. Dang, I don't want to go through the negotiation process of the home buying. So he can park his car. We're about to trade in Aaron's car and get a big car. I would call it a mom car, but it's going to be a dad car because I'm not driving a big car, but we need a big car. Like we need a bigger car than this. And right now he just has a sedan. So that's why we always drive my car because we always have the kids or we have to pick them up and they can't fit in there and so he's gonna have to get a tahoe or an escalade yay yay i'm excited for that then we can drive that car i low-key might trade my car into i really want the amg the amg truck but i like my range too i probably won't trade it in i probably keep it we shall see all right gotta go bye bye we're on my phone oh my lord my hair but anyways we asked if they could cut it down and they said no but there's a station where you can do it yourself but there's no saw right there he's mad Ta-da, we found it. Get to cut in case. City boy trying to do country shit. Better make my shit straight. <laughs> you talking about me taking so long time? Right. Don't make it even either. That's not even on the line. Yeah, you can. He said you can cut it. Let me do it. Yeah, I am. I'm Bob the Builder. 
Yes, it is, baby. Just put some muscle behind it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Hallelujah. You made it crooked. Oh my God. Give it to me. Just give it an no. <laughs> Do the next one. I'm gonna try. Let me do the skinny one. Well, we don't got no tools because you ain't a handy miss. Time. Look, and we don't even gotta pay, we just gotta walk out. And it can't be uneven. Say hello! You didn't get invited to the haircut shop, unfortunately. Did you have a good day? Got little eye crusties all over him. All right, so we're finally back home. So now we can do a little haul of everything that we got. I'm gonna try to go ahead and just put the wooden box together tonight. I gotta order some hangers. There was no like velvet or like cute hangers at Target. So I'm gonna get a pack of hangers off of Amazon. And then also I wanna find like a little thing that I can use like as a little swing to put on the basket for the little avocado that I got. He's eating this remote. We got him a toy remote and then the boys gave him a, a actual remote and took the batteries out. I'm gonna be for real. I'm gonna give you some berries. What are they doing back here? And he keeps opening and closing the garage. What are you doing? We want to know when you're going to start walking. That is the million dollar question. When are you going to walk? Hmm? 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 Give me a kiss. Give me kisses. Give me a kiss. Give me a vessel. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Can you say mommy? Say hey. Hey. He don't want to ever talk when I try to show somebody. Here, get them out. They ate this whole carton, or three cartons of berries, and like, got some raspberries and blueberries. Okay, you wanna show everybody what we got? Our bags are all spread out all over the place. Okay, that's for dinner tonight. We're making meatloaf for dinner. I don't know if y'all peeped that when I was picking up the ingredients. Well, I'm gonna make meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and asparagus. You ate them berries up, huh? Uh-uh, dirty fingers. Uh-uh. <laughs> I got you some more. Mm. You're too big for that. Are you trying to throw a fit? I have this. <laughs> Let me change this battery really quickly. All right, we're we'll back in action. I didn't know if this battery was gonna be charged or not. I'm so mad. He cut the wrong sides. Well, he didn't cut the wrong sides, but I didn't tell him. Or maybe it was blue on both sides. I don't know, but I don't want this side sticking up, but I also don't want this janky side he cut sticking up either. That was hilarious. He finally figured out, you have to use the bottom of the saw, and he was trying to use the top of the saw at first. He is a city boy for real, y'all. I'm trying to turn him into a country boy. We're trying to make your daddy a handyman. This boy can barely use a power drill. You know what he always says? He's like, when I'm old, I'll learn and I'll be up in the Home Depot. I'm like, boy, be for real. I want him to get into like construction and stuff so we can do flipping homes. Could y'all see me on HGTV? That would be live, right? Go flip some houses. Okay, I'm putting the wood glue in the corners and just praying for the best. I don't know if I'm supposed to like let it sit for a certain amount of time. Or do you have to hold it? Like, I need some clamps. I can't sit here all day and wait till the glue dries. Who's gonna do that? Okay, that one's staying in place. It's gonna be so cute. Glue doesn't break. Put a lot of glue. The sticker's on this side. Judy Woody. <laughs> This one keeps the weight forward. What am I supposed to do? I should have just used super glue. Cause this is taking way too long to dry. I need like something to hold it in place. Send help. This wood glue is. I would just use hot glue or super glue. 
Oh yeah, you have to clamp it for 30, 20 to 30 minutes. I don't got no clamps. But we finna nigger rig it. Don't y'all worry. I'm gonna take this plastic bag. I am like the weakest person I've ever met in my whole life. But if I need to carry all the groceries in in one trip, I can do it easily. I'm just gonna wrap this around and tie it to the side temporarily so it can stay in place. Call on your brother when you need a friend. We all need somebody to lean on. I don't want it to be crooked. What else can I use to put right here? I'm gonna get you some more berries. Okay, we're gonna leave it sitting there for a while and then just like hope for the best. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You look a mess. You got snot and blueberries. You gonna go take a bath? I love you. Give me a kiss. No, I said a kiss. I don't like that. Can I have a kiss, please? No. What does that mean? No? Hi. Hey. Did you hear me say bye? Good job. Give me a kiss. Hey. Oh, no. You're not gonna, you're not gonna just let me. Oh, there's the kiss. Mm-hmm. Ow, you gotta close your lips. Mm. You're trying to trick me. You see him trying to fake me out like he was gonna give me a kiss? And he's biting so bad, y'all. And he has a not a lot of teeth, but his teeth on the bottom. Please don't mind my blueberry crusty dusty mouth. And then he has his two front teeth. Let them see your teeth. Listen, you're gonna wanna look back on this one day. You see those teeth? <laughs> He's getting two other teeth in. They just broke through on the top. Let's go wash you off. Let's get the day off of you. Go take a bath and then we can cuddle since there's nobody else here. And they're not gonna be back till way late tonight because they're getting their hair cut and then they're getting a retwist and Carson's getting braids, so they probably won't be home till way, way late. His little birthmarks are so cute. He has a whole bunch of like little brown birthmarks on his back. And that booty booty. You have the biggest butt ever. Can I have some of that? Hi. Just give me kisses. Ow, ow! Don't try to lean in afterwards. You scratched me. Ouchie. You're not gonna just sit here and slap me. That is not my case. He can see himself. Hi. That's you and me. That's us. Okay. Is that me and you? You cannot have my Apple Watch. No. <laughs> the dramatics. Now he's trying to get down. Bye. How about we go walking? <laughs> Let's walk. <laughs> I tried to pick you up. You're being fake. Come on. Come on. Look, he can do it. He's standing up by himself. It's so look, 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 look. That's your squatting. Stand up. No, 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 no. Stand up. You don't want that camera. That camera I got nothing to do with you. If you walk over here, you can get it. Come on. You can do it. No, I'm not gonna pick you up. Stand up. There you go. Come on, fat daddy. Come on, fat daddy. No, 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 no. Come on. You got it. Come on. And just like that, we're done. We do not have any, hey, hey, hey. We don't have any more room in this house for another child with an attitude problem. So you're gonna have to fix that immediately. You're gonna spill it. You got that corn of water. I dropped it earlier. While he's occupied for these two seconds, let me open up this Amazon package. I have no idea, I have no idea what it is. Oh! I saw a hack. These came fast. These came way faster than I thought they were gonna come. Hear me out. This girl on TikTok, she was like, this is so much cheaper than getting paper plates if you have kids, right? And I was like, oh, say less. So I'm waiting on the little paper, you know, to come in, but you basically just get little baskets and then you put paper in the basket and then you can get like 250 sheets of paper for cheap on Amazon. And that is low key less expensive than rebuying paper plates. And I'm a paper plate girl. Okay, so I don't wanna do all them dishes all the damn time. But I thought that was like a cute idea. They didn't have any white baskets. I really wanted white because I feel like that's more my vibe but i got brown they have like black red yellow i'll try to link them for y'all but i thought that was so cool see the shit you learn on tiktok when i get the paper in i'm gonna start just putting the paper in the basket and then that's how i'll serve the kids their food i just throw they can dump the paper in the trash put these back in the pantry we're good to go you need a bath and i need a shower one two three boom boom come on let's go take a bath tt yl i'm gonna go 
give him a bath and take a shower while we have the house by ourselves and then probably play with him for a little bit and then I'll come back we'll cook dinner together and finish the basket I'm just gonna let it dry I don't know how I'm gonna attach the other one I need to get out my hot glue gun okay anyways we'll come back to it say bye your hair looks real red today his curls cannot stay intact for more than a day he sleeps so rough i just washed him here i put some some kinky curly nut today all right it's a little bit later i just put the baby down we stayed in his room for like two hours and just played a little bit after we took a bath i want to try these though i'm starving i haven't ate anything but the cake pop earlier i did not like these he's not gonna like them either the kids will probably eat them they're not so sour sweet bites but I suggest it. I'm gonna glue the next piece onto the basket. It is a little crooked, but you know what? We not gonna even. A for effort. A for effort is about the counts. It's just like a little bit off. Like this side is like a little bit taller than this side, but you know what? Hey, it is what it is. And it's gonna need to dry overnight because these are still not all the way dry yet. So I'm just gonna put some glue on here. It's probably too much. Is it like so obviously uneven? Yikes. Okay, this is what it's getting so far. It's a little crooked, but hopefully we can fix it and it won't look as noticeable once I start hanging things up on there. Okay, wood glue is definitely not the move. I'm just gonna hot glue it, but I'm gonna do it like tomorrow or Friday or something because I just wanna cook tonight because I'm hungry and it's getting later, but wood glue is not the move. I would do hot glue because it dries faster and it'll hold it in place. Maybe you can do wood glue after you do hot glue if you really wanna make sure it's secure, but it's like these are not even... Dry. This one is a little dry, but this one is like still wobbly. So I'm gonna leave those overnight with the wood glue, but I'm just gonna hot glue this to them. So, anyways, we gotta clean up really fast because that is not a kitchen we can cook in. Okay. We still have not heard back from the seller yet about the house. So I'll keep you guys posted. Um, they basically said they were gonna let us know after the other person sees it, if they're gonna put an offer in or whatever, just to see what their offer is. Me and my real estate agent, we think they're like low-key bluffing. Like somebody could be looking at the house, but the offer that we put in, like I said, it's only 10K under. And so unless somebody just offers something ridiculous, then, you know, I don't know. But anyways, that's a little update. Let's get everything squared away. Put all of our food ingredients here. Potatoes. Hopefully this is good. Ready? Hot wheels. I haven't taken my MSM today, so I want to take that too before we cook. I'm just gonna mix it with a little bit of probiotic water. Call it a day. Let's make our little probiotic. This baby. Yeah, um, I, I thought they would probably ask for more too. Now I'm mad we didn't go lower. <laughs> I know. I'm like, damn. The contract hasn't been signed yet. So are you wanting anything more? Like, do you want to be like, hey, would y'all be willing to, you know what I mean? Like, do you want me to ask for anything? Kind of mouth the power in your hands. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think, if anything, did they ever get back about the fence? He said, he was like, we'll have the quote by tonight. He was like, but she's more than welcome to look at other contractors to do the fence out. Mm -hmm. So do you want me to be like, hey, she really wants the fence done before, are you guys able to do it and maybe just, you know, like just charge like five grand versus that fence, I'm not gonna lie to you. They're quoting my fence and my house is not as big as yours because I'm getting a new one too. Mm -hmm. And it's like 17000 for oh, mine. Shit. I know you're definitely going to be in that range a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if we can just ask them like, hey, would y'all redo it and just for like a just you know what I mean? I would pay asking if maybe they would do the fence. Do you think they would meet there? Oh, okay. So you would pay for the what again? I would just pay like what he asked for. The asking price. Okay, cool. That's a good one. Okay, I understand. So we'll need to ask if you can redo the fence with a brand new one in high and taller. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not going to lie. That's just going to really make that backyard look more, yeah. more gloves. You know what I mean? Like more new. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask him right now. I'm going to call him. Slow okay. <laughs> I don't want him to think. Okay. Also, do you think that he'll okay. think though, like if we go up, that if somebody else, because after he accepts our offer, can he kick us out if someone else comes in and offers more? No. Okay. No, no, okay. No. So once he accepts and he signs, so okay. once they sign it, that means we're legally binded. Okay. 
Okay. And they can't kick us out and like they could get sued for that and they'll lose their money. Okay. But he hasn't signed yet. So that's that's only thing. The contract's not legally binded until both parties sign. You've already signed, but he hasn't signed. Okay. But if we're gonna redo the contract, he redoes the fence. And that fence Ooh. that fence won't even take long. It can literally take like a week. That's it. Okay, can we that. can we ask for two things? Tell me if you think this is pushing it. Do you okay. think it would be too much effort for them to put in the drywall in that little attic? Okay, like what he was basically telling us today. Yes. Because I feel like it would just be easier if those things were done before we moved in. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I would be willing to meet him, obviously, because I don't want to be unreasonable and ask for like a 25K house and I did 10 under, you know, I mean, yeah. fence, you know what I'm saying? Okay, the drywall in the attic of the closet, master closet, mm -hmm. and then also the fence. Can we get a redo of the fence and hire meet the fence? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me call that house. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Bye. Bye. He obviously ended up waking up. Usually he'll just go down and he might fuss a little bit, but he'll usually like fall asleep in like five minutes and tonight he's not, so. I'm not all force it upon you. You gonna stay up and cook with me? You can put some clothes on though, it's kind of cold in here. You can go put some pajamas on. Our offer got accepted, how crazy is that? I didn't really have like this whole wow reaction when she told me, cause now I'm kind of like, I'm like so happy. I think I was gonna be happy with anything just, just to be able to like buy a home is just, I was just thinking about it like when I was sitting in the room with the baby and I'm just like, it would just be a blessing to be able to purchase a home in general. And so to be able to get the one that I wanted would just be like even better. But I started to like not hype myself up because I didn't think it was gonna happen. I thought they were gonna like try to go into like a bidding war and like get way over asking for the house. I'm like happy, I'm kind of like low key shaking. But anyways, we're gonna negotiate a little bit further because there was, like I said, we wanted to change the fence on the house. Right now we have like a beautiful fence in our yard and it's edged and trimmed and it's an eight foot. And the one that they have in that backyard is a six foot. And the biggest thing about the reason why I want a taller fence is because with pool regulations, you have to have your fence a certain height anyways for like safety, like just say, you know, somebody's stumbling upon, they jump over the fence, drown in the pool, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like those are just rules in the state of Texas. And so the big thing that they market the house for is that you can put a pool in. We would have to redo the fence on top of adding the pool in after purchasing the home if we go that route. Does that make sense? So. for right now and y'all know my long-term goal is not to like stay there forever but with this house I could picture myself still going on my you know real estate ventures whether that's renting that house out and moving but I could still see myself like always coming back to that home because it just feels so homey and cozy it's not the biggest house that we saw it's the most expensive house we saw though but it's not the biggest house that we saw it just felt like home like it just felt cozy and, and nice and yeah I want to like cry and throw up all at the same time. See, like I started to get like, <laughs> it's also just a big milestone and like a big responsibility. I'm a little nervous to be a homeowner. But the other thing that was really attractive to me about this home, besides like all the finishes, everything is like top quality. The house has already been pre-wired for speakers, security, all of that. And then on top of it, the home came with warranty. So all of the major things that could go wrong with the house, foundation, roof, and things like that are covered under a 10 year warranty with this builder. And then like the little stuff is also covered under warranty for like one to five years, depending on like what it was like paint, drywall, stuff like that. So for anything that we need for those certain amount of times, it will still kind of be like renting with the warranty because we'll be able to call him and have them come fix it. So that's nice. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I haven't called Aaron yet to tell him. And if everything goes well, we'll close on our house by mid-May, which we don't even need to move by mid-May, but there's things that we wanna do. I don't think we're gonna start, okay, I keep talking about a pool, so y'all are probably like, okay. I don't know if we're gonna do the pool this summer, just cause I feel like that would kind of like take away from the whole point of like having the backyard for the summertime. For this year, we could probably just throw out sprinklers, inflatable pool, whatever for the kids, and then maybe start working on the pool in the months where it's not gonna be hot, like we wouldn't be using the pool. Cause I feel like we just get more use out of the backyard. So I don't know if we'll have a pool this summer, but by next summer, we're gonna have a pool. Okay, we're gonna have a pool and it's gonna be so lit. We're gonna deck it out. Yeah, we're gonna be swimming. How exciting is that? He's like, 
like eating his fingers like girl okay anyways but yeah they've accepted our offer regardless i want to meet him in the middle like i told you i got to meet the guy who built the house today and he was just so nice and so kind and there was definitely a lot of thought into the house and i can't wait for y'all to see it and for y'all to see all the little things that we missed the first time but yeah i'm excited woo, woo. all right let's cook it's 6 20 and i'm starving i'm probably shaking because my blood sugar is low oh we need to go get you some actually i'm just gonna cut the hair off we're gonna stay naked because if we put clothes on we'll get dirty all right air is off Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna be able to shut up talking about this for forever. All right, we're gonna start by prepping our food first. We're gonna listen, oh, we're not gonna listen to music. YouTube is so late for that. I wish I could just cook with y'all and listen to music and vibe, and the fact that that's not allowed is disgusting. I'm gonna wash you some strawberries, okay? When we get the new kitchen, it's definitely gonna be cooking with Kenna. I don't know if I'm gonna do like dedicated cooking videos, but when we get that kitchen, it's Liddy. These are big strawberries. Lord, have mercy, y'all. And it was so crazy, too. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be talking about this for a second, though. We were, me and my relative were just texting, and she was like, it's such a small world. Also, she like graduated the same class in high school as my older sister, but anyways, she was saying, I just have a really good feeling that the builder got to meet you, and like, we saw him today, and we like, walked through it and stuff, that she was just like, I just have a good feeling that she's gonna choose you, and like, everything just like, kind of like, happens for a reason. I was kind of like, I'm on that same type of vibe, but I was kind of like, you know, if this is not meant to be, then I know there's something else better out there for me that just hasn't come on the market yet and that's another thing i am nervous about it's something else coming on the market but it's also kind of like a there's always going to be newer things coming and you know as the, the area like develops and stuff but like i said we only technically have to stay there for a year i feel like the property just has so many different potentials to it like i feel like it could even be like a venue more than just airbnb the backyard i feel like you could do so much stuff in that backyard it just has limitless amounts of potential so even if we decided to like use it as like a hosting space or something on like verbo because i don't really know how long airbnb is going to be i think i just want to buy it so bad it's pretty good i don't usually eat fruit unless it's covered in sugar or whipped cream because it usually doesn't taste that sweet but that's really good oh this is good huh my chunky monkey I believe he's gonna be one. I don't know how Aaron's gonna feel. I'm, I'm gonna be interested to see his reaction when I tell him. Because I don't know like how he has been like actually taking the home buying. Oh, was I not in focus that whole time? If this camera starts acting up, you're going back, okay? Because I don't have time for that. But anyways, I'll be interested to see what his reaction is. He doesn't like going to like look at houses or apartments like real estate, like just like viewing things is like not his thing. He's just kind of like very nonchalant about it. He's yeah, you pick what you like because it's whatever you want maybe so that's kind of usually what his outlook is but he's actually been you know giving opinions and participating i'm interested to see i guess because we're buying it and not renting it he's a little bit more he wants to be involved in the process but i can't even start cooking yet i'm like i know she's gonna call me back because she just she's just like texting with the agent i want to get into real estate now i'm gonna keep saying that talk to okay you have plenty of those strawberries please don't eat them too fast Let's prep everything. We need to peel the potatoes. I was gonna do this, but I'll just wait. Cause I'm starving and this is gonna take a minute. Ooh, y'all just don't even know. It's gonna be so freak such a vibe. All right, I'm peeling the potatoes. Something too interesting. I was trying to get a view. Y'all be cracking me up. Cause y'all be like, can we see the food and not you? I'm like, no, I'm kidding. That's another thing that I'm excited. Do y'all see that? Did you see that? It's lightning. It's storming so bad today. I swear to y'all, when I was sleeping last night, the storm woke me up in my sleep. I literally started crying. I was like, oh, Jesus is going to come back to the earth today. No cap. I was like, oh yeah. Today is the day. Like, we are all going to meet the Lord. The house was shaking so bad. I didn't understand how all the kids were still asleep. I was literally just waiting for everybody to wake up. I just knew like one of them was going to like at least start crying. I mean, the thunder was roaring. Like, the loudest thunder I've literally ever heard in my life. It was so wow i feel like we always get like one big storm before summer comes and i feel like this has got to be the one anyways i was praying i was like lord please forgive me for anything i've done to <laughs> that's not funny but you get what i'm saying like it was just really loud. it was really loud and it was really bright and we have really big windows in our room i also had peace the lord was like rest 
go back to sleep and I was like, oh, say less. I just took my ass right back to sleep. But then it woke me up again. It just was too much. Okay, let's change topics. I should get on live while I cook. If I could record, well, I guess I can save my lives. Ooh, who's watching Bad Boys? I wanna do something that I feel like would be so fun. Y'all let me know what you guys think about it. Cause I feel like some people might think that's like mm, lame or weird or whatever, but I was thinking about like, we can pick a show together and then we, I can like get on live. I feel like me just getting on live probably be the easier way. At first I was thinking like maybe like Uvu, Skype, but I think that that would probably be too many technical difficulties and wouldn't allow a lot of us to watch the show together. But like I could get on live and we could like watch a show together. Does that sound boring? I don't know. I feel like if I had like a lot of girlfriends, I would do that. You know what I'm saying? So. Anyway, I've been thinking about that because I watch all my shows and I've been wanting to like conversate or hear other people's commentary and right now I'm watching Bad Boys on um, Zeus and Aaron hates the show and so I've been watching it with my other friend like we've just been staying up watching it together at night when she's basically like my cousin-in-law it's Aaron's cousin's girlfriend and he plays overseas in a football league and he has like practice late at night and so we stay up and we watch, watch the show and Aaron came home early the other night when we were watching it and he was like uh uh and I was like well you better go to sleep then I'm watching this it's hilarious I feel like the premiere for this season was so trash though like it felt so fake it felt so forced and then the whole episode was literally them bailing Orlando Brown out of jail and why is Orlando Brown on this show somebody please tell me why he's on the show like it's just not getting and then I feel like Jonathan don't get me wrong I love him but I feel like he's forcing the confrontation and the drama and the fighting just to, you know, which maybe that's just his character. Cause I feel like reality TV is still fake, but it just didn't feel, I don't know. I think it's more funny when it's just a bunch of random guys and like everything just pops off and you don't know what's going on. But then they brought back everybody from season one, which is cool. Rel, oh, he's my favorite. He reminds me of my brother and I think he is hilarious. He's hilarious, but I don't know. I feel like Jonathan came in too strong. He needed to survive. He didn't need to do Anthony like that. It wasn't the time. Cause they were just at the auditions together, like I swear. And I do not like Natalie Nunn. I'm sorry, like I just, I can't get in. It's not even that like, I just don't like her, but I don't want to see her. I know she's like the host or the producer on a lot of shows on Zeus, but like baby, I don't want to see you in every single thing. Like you don't have to be in every show on here. Like let's just have one show where we can just, cause she's not even a fitting character in this show. You get what I'm saying? Get in where you fit in and say the bad girls. This is bad boys. I don't want to see Natalie on every episode. I'm sorry. I just don't. Because like when you have bad girls club and stuff like that, you don't have the people that are hosting the show or the producers always giving their commentary or like coming. Like no, they drop off little letters at the house and they say, oh, we're finna go do this. We're finna go do this. Or the girls just vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like it just feels too, she's forcing it. Come on, baby girl. We don't need to see you every episode, okay? Thank you. I better hurry up before you finish all them strawberries. You are going to bed soon though. It's gonna be seven o'clock. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm talking about you. Okay, can I talk more about the house or are y'all gonna be annoyed by that? I guess I could tell you more about why we decided to pick the house now. So, okay. it has the most large backyard I've ever seen. It's basically like the closest thing that I could think of to having like a house with a piece of land near the city. And when I say the city, we still are gonna be in Dallas County or like Dallas ISD. We didn't move out of Dallas. We're not in like any suburbs. We're just in like West Dallas. So when I say the city, I mean like from downtown, uptown, deep Ellum, which is where the big buildings and shit like that is. I try to clear that so we can all understand. But it, it basically, it's sitting on 0.32 acres of land in the backyard. The catch is there's also a piece of land right next door that's for sale. And so I'm also thinking, depending on how much they want for just the piece of land, I would like to purchase that. Cause again, come back, I will force my children to live next to me, I don't care. Like there's enough space in that house, like in that yard to put a second house, put a guest house for the kids when they come back from college or when they get older, like the limitless potential that I could think of for that backyard. So I was just like, yeah. And then even for now, like the kids can ride their like motorcycles and bikes, like they have trucks and motorcycles and all this stuff that they don't get to use regularly because their backyard is small. And then the street that we live on, the sidewalk's all messed up. It's just not a good place to like ride. And they have so much, they can ride around there for days and so that's definitely a big reason why we picked it and then everything in the home was just done so well thought out beautifully i'm just rinsing the potatoes really fast but it was just done so nicely and 
that was a big thing that I didn't see in a lot of the homes in that area. Like they were new construction and they were meant to look modern, but the actual materials thought into the home wasn't well thought out, if that makes sense. I don't know why I put this back on. I'm gonna cut the potatoes. That's why we ended up picking it. The kitchen is, oh my God, it's a chef's kitchen. Am I a chef? No, but we do have people in our family who do like to cook and who are chefs. They can surely come on over and chef it up. Yes, 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 yes. Anyways, yeah, I'm just putting the potatoes in quarters. Nothing fancy, I promise. It has an amazing kitchen, amazing pantry. The living area is a little bit on the smaller side and it is only three bedrooms but it could easily be converted into four with literally just like a, like a sheet of drywall. We could close up the den because it already has a closet and it has its own bathroom. Everybody in the house would have their own bathroom. It's a three bedroom, four and a half bath. And then it does have a flex space downstairs. There's just so much potential, especially with the backyard. You could expand the house. Like there's just so much that you could do to it. So I feel like it was a good starting point and then something again, like we could always come back to if we wanted to. So anyways, the finishes are really nice. The quality is amazing. Like I said, the builder is top tier. Now, the things that I sacrificed, I'm going to say me, because there is no bathtub in the master, and if you know me, I literally take baths like it's nobody's business, but there are two other tubs in the house that I can take baths in, and when the builder was there today, we went and we asked him, could we put in a tub, and he was like, I knew that was going to happen, like somebody was going to want a tub in the master, and he was like, you like baths, and I was like, yes. <laughs> so we went up there, and we looked at it, and he was like, you could do it, but it would just be very awkward, because that was the original like floor plan. They had put like to do a bath and a shower but once you're actually in the space he was like it just didn't fit and it doesn't like it just doesn't fit so instead he chose to do like a very grand luxe shower which aaron loved because aaron doesn't take baths but anyways i was like yeah this is cool i basically sacrificed the tub i think if we really wanted to fit a bathtub in there there's definitely room because we like move the bathroom more into the master closet because there's a whole attic off the master that you can open a little secret door to and go in. And so that was another thing that we were talking about while I was on the phone. Like I want them to put the drywall down on the floor and on the walls. And that's gonna be my room and cake. Or just like a little space for me and Aaron that we can like go into, you know what I mean? Just like tucked away, ducked off. Like my friend was saying like, it could be a prayer closet. Like it's just, I felt like that, that was a bonus to me. Like the kids will have their little den. Carmelo and Carson will share a room. Again, we're not planning to stay here while they're teenagers and even if we were staying here while they were teenagers, we can close off the wall and then Carmelo would be able to have his own bedroom on the fourth bedroom. So that's not the issue. But I also like that all the bedrooms are upstairs, especially while the kids are young. And then I also feel like it just kind of gives us our own privacy. No one has to be in our room or use our restroom or anything like that if we have like family over. So I like that all the bedrooms are upstairs. Yeah, I've been cutting these potatoes and talking way too long. All right, let's get a pot of water boiling. I will say we did sacrifice a tub and a master, but it is what it is. I think that it's worth it for the kids to be able to have that yard. And so I'm gonna take a bath in their bath. There is one bathroom that's not attached to a bedroom because it's like the bathroom off of the flex space. And I'll just use that one if I decide I need to take a bath. All the bathrooms are very unique too, which I like. I think Carter is gonna be in love with his bedroom. Can you just imagine being a kid that young and having a bathroom like that? Like, wow, wow. That's literally crazy. Okay, let's plop these. Oh, she's calling me back. Hello? Wait, so he said he can do those things, the, the fence and the thickest job, but he wants to know two things. Okay. He said it's definitely going to be more than 10K at going up to that, like him to do the fence and the finish job because he said it's not just drywall. He said it would need to be the floor too, unless you don't want that. He wants to know to what extent do you want the closet added to be done like a full out room like if you're to open up a closet door or is it just want the drywall i mean i kind of just wanted the drywall so it looks like it has walls and a floor so we could sit in there does that make sense it doesn't have to be okay. like decked out but what was he saying that he would want for that he did so he didn't have an actual quote he was saying he needs to like price it out based off of what you were wanting if it's just drywall okay cool but he was asking because i think he said like because i think the floor is just like it's, you know like remember we were walking on it's like yeah a like, yeah yeah, yeah. Like, well, do you want like an actual piece of flooring or you just want him to finish out the plywood i would just say this i would say if it's not too much i would ask him his thoughts on putting flooring there because i know he's trying to get it done quick so i don't want him to start thinking like oh she's asking for too much <laughs> 
You hear what I'm saying? So I don't know. What do you think? You think we should just leave it how it is? What do you say about the fence? Okay, the fence for sure. That that don't take long. I promise you. And I know that because I've seen it clearly. A fence go up. The longer for maybe like a week. I don't even know. If they start from sun up to sun up, all we gotta do is knock it down. It, it doesn't take long. It can literally take less than a week. That can be done for sure. Did he say anything specific about the fence? Like it was, it wouldn't be a big deal, or did he say like for both things be over the ten? No, he said the finishing out the attic would be over the ten. He said he needs to price out the fence. He needs to get the dimensions of it, which is he has like a contractor, like a business person, waiting on that quote for them on how much it's gonna be for them to completely tear it down and then do thicker fence okay. with it being higher. So he said he'll have the quote for us this evening. Okay. But yeah, he's, def he's definitely open. He's not like saying like no. He was literally like, I'm willing to work with you guys. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, he's trying to give you what you want. I don't think you're asking for too much because we honestly asked him to come to the same thing in person. I, I know. I forgot know. about it right after he left. And he even was like, let's walk out there. And I was like, okay. <laughs> he's so cool. Like, I, that's really why nice. I can tell. Like, He's so easy to work with. I feel like if you're not having any issues or problems, I mean, he's a family guy too. So if he's wanting privacy for her and her family, like, I get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to say this. I wouldn't say anything to them yet, but I feel like I would meet them at what I was, like, pre-approved for because I feel like, again, like, that's not really a big, huge, you know, deal for me was, like, staying super under that budget. So okay. I feel like if he comes back and he's like, oh, I can do it. Because do you think, like, if we just go up in the price, that would obviously still just be included in the loan, right? Yeah, it'll, just, yeah, it'll just be in the loan. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Which I feel like would be easier than me trying to like go and do it on my own anyways. Oh, like pay out of pocket. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like if he's willing to and he doesn't think that it's going to like take too long because he said he wanted to like get rid of it quick or whatever, I would definitely be open yeah. to him finishing out that space just because I think that it would be worth it and then it would be something that I don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to worry about with another person. About. Yeah, because the only thing I really okay. want to have to worry about or do is the backyard and like the pool and stuff like that. So Even if you wanted to continue working with him, I'm pretty sure he could probably find a contract. Mm -hmm. too, you know what I mean? Because yeah. he's the builder. Yeah, so I guess to answer that, I would like to have some type of flooring in there and drywall. I mean, I don't have, think it has to decked out to the gods, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. something that's like, you know, like a closet. Just like a closet. That, that's what I was thinking, like, it looks like a closet. Yeah, basically. it just looks like a closet, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna let him know, so yeah, right. and, I, and I'll keep you booked, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. The camera battery's about to die, but I want to try this chopper thing for the onions and see if that is easier than me trying to cut it it's just going to be slices though i didn't really think about that okay let me change the battery out i'm going to dice the onions and the um peppers for the meatloaf i'm about to switch the battery though so just uno momento por favor oh my gosh you know something i also want to start doing i want to have the kids kitchen like cooking in the kitchen with me do y'all see that girl on instagram and she like cooks with her three kids oh my God, so cute. i think my boys just have to be like almost like a little bit older carter's probably right at that age to use like the knives we're switching up the angles that way you guys can see that i'm actually cooking carter the other night was like mom i want you to cook and i was like okay what do you want me to cook and he was like pasta and i'm like okay see this is why i gotta be in the kitchen i feel like that for me like cooking is one of my generational curses like, my mom didn't cook very often but i feel like that was more so just because she was a business and a work woman you know what i'm saying so she didn't really always have the time to cook meals that's another thing I've learned. I've learned to stop resenting my mom for things that I didn't understand when I was a kid, but I understand now that I'm older. I think every parent like does the best they can, especially under the circumstances of life, because life is the life and the hell out of adults, like the entire thing. And still trying to function and be a parent and a mom through all of that, that's hard. Just because she didn't break every generational curse doesn't mean she didn't break some. Okay? So we're gonna give her props for that. But anyways, that's what I was saying. I never learned how to cook because nobody really taught me how to cook. My mom would cook like a few things when she was married. It was just like meatloaf, <laughs> spaghetti, tacos, like stuff like that. So I really learned how to cook from one of my, I was gonna say one of my friends, but she is not my friend anymore. Somebody that I was friends with at the time. She used to cook for me and the kids and Aaron and everybody. And that's a red flag. If a bitch start coming to your house and she wanna cook for your man, she gotta go immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she would like cook us dinner like literally every single night. And I was like, oh, this is lit. So nice. She would just come over and cook. And at the time, it was really nice. I learned that all friends are not to be invited to the crib and to be around family. And some friends are just party friends. 
And I feel like me and her go out and have like a really good time, but we didn't necessarily make the best of being close friends. And I feel like if she ever saw this, like she would be so mad that I said that. But honestly, I think it's more so like we're just at different stages in our life. She kind of like just partied all the time, drank all the time. And I had two kids at the time. And it's just like, I can't do that every single day. And some of the sun, when we did go out, we had a lot. I feel like I can't keep friends these days. So every time I become friends with somebody, I get all weird. And I'm like, I don't know how long this is going to last. So I don't like hold my breath. And I feel like I've definitely learned to talk to people with discretion now. Like I don't tell everybody everything anymore like i used to have a best friend that i would like tell everything to and so i thought that i could just do that with other people when they became my friend but you cannot that's a no i can't see all the way over there because i know if y'all are focused or not i'm gonna cut up this pepper i feel like meatloaf is pretty easy it's just the prepping that takes the longest we got our peppers I was totally thinking about that earlier today when we met him too. I was like, I wonder if he has a deciding factor in who buys the home because he's the builder. And I don't really know how that works. Like, I don't know if the builder is also the seller. If that makes sense, like, I don't know if like he's contracted by somebody else and if he has a say so and he for the property. I'm gonna start doing fixer flipper uppers now. I love interior design. I don't think I would be the best at interior design, but I feel like I would be good at My uncle is an architect actually. And so I feel like Loki, we could really like fix and flip or like build houses. My uncle, he specializes more so like his company that I think he owns it now is in roofing. If you're from Dallas, he helped design the AT&T stadium, like other just like really big buildings and stuff. Hey. So we're gonna put the meatloaf in the baking dish. I'm kind of mad I don't have like a traditional meatloaf pan, but it is what it is. I'm gonna mix this one more time with my fingers. Put a little bit more ketchup in there just for some razzle dazzle. Okay, so we heard back from my realtor and they basically quoted us, I think like 22K for the fence, which we knew was gonna be pricey. It's still not over budget in the total amount of our loan. So I felt like might as well just do it. But the attic space that I said that I wanted to like finish out, they quoted like 30 or 40 grand for it. And it literally just needs drywall and then some flooring. Like it's already pretty complete. Like I even looked at it a little bit more today and like it literally just needs drywall. So I don't really see why it would be that much because i feel like i can go to home depot and get drywall and put that bitch up myself <laughs> so maybe we'll put aaron to work and like you know diy handyman it but i just don't think it's worth it for that right now especially going that much over would put us over like what we wanted to spend or what we're pre-qualified for for the house anyway so i'm kind of just like we can just have somebody do it and see if we can get a quote for less or just put the money towards the backyard because the pool in the whole backyard is going to be one third of the cost of the actual house if we decide to fully deck the backyard out and do like a really grand pool and outdoor kitchen and like open up the dining room so it's kind of like an indoor outdoor living space let's see what she said all right let's put the meatloaf in here so we can finish up the mashed potatoes this was like the longest most drug out cook with me ever let me tell you something they're gonna be eating this meatloaf for days I look he should have just got two pounds of ground beef and not two or three, I mean three pounds. I might not even be able to fit all this in the pan. Pack it in, pack it in. It might be the perfect amount actually for this size pan that I have. I feel like watching me put this meatloaf in this pan is like the most unappetizing thing ever. But it smells so good. The sink on the home already has a dryer ready and available. How cool is that? And a place to wash your fruit. It's just the little things. Black pepper? Milk. I really need that masher for the potatoes.
I'm gonna charge my handhold mixer so I can get them nice and like whipped and smooth. But it's dead, so I gotta torch it. All right, I just came on here to show y'all the meatloaf really fast. I put the baby back down. The meatloaf is done. I just texted Aaron and asked him what time they're gonna be back because it's eight o'clock. Anytime I go out of the house, I'm exhausted by the end of the day. I just wanted to show y'all what it looked like. I'm gonna leave it in for a little bit longer just to get the top a little bit more broily looking. But I basically did, and don't laugh either. I did half ketchup and half barbecue because Aaron likes barbecue more and I like ketchup more. So like as the topping, I did ketchup over here instead. So I'm just gonna slap it on a plate with the mashed potatoes. I didn't end up blending them because I couldn't find a charger to my handheld mixer, but we finna plate it right now on a nice plate and we finna do our taste test. Today drains me. Okay. I was also gonna make asparagus, but I need to sit down for a second. I'm tired. And all right. It's done, but like I said, I'm just gonna put it back in for a little minute. Voila. This is it. Can y'all see it in all its glory? I feel like meatloaf looks like the most unappetizing meal, but it's like the most delicious meal. Mm, that's good. Who can't cut meatloaf? Oh, I really look like somebody burned all right now. Like just rough. Anyways, this was good. I'm about to eat my plate. I don't know. Erin usually feeds the kids. It takes them to get their hair done, so they'll probably just eat leftovers tomorrow. But I got my one cooked meal every week out of the way. Can you hear me? Because tomorrow is Thursday and that's dad's night. For dinner. Okay. I'm back. Got my hair done. We're going to the Dominican Republic in three days. Can you believe it? I have everything done except I don't have any press ons on my nails, so don't look at my fingers. Please. I cannot be held responsible if you throw up. So, anyways, that being said, I also am in preparation of the baby shower for my brother's baby shower tomorrow. So, I think I told you guys about all of that. I got all the stuff to like make my little basket. There the balloons are behind me. So, I'll be taking those in the morning and we're about to finish up their little baby shower gift. Mello's over there eating some Chick fil A fries. Carter and Carson are getting their haircut with their dad because I got their hair retwisted the other day and now they're getting a haircut. So anyways, I'm gonna bring the basket over here so y'all can see it good in the lighting. And listen, if you wanna book me for baskets, just let me know, okay? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I really, I don't do this anymore. This is not my, this is not my full-time gig, but I am about to show y'all how to do this, okay? So anyways, y'all know we went to Home Depot, we cut everything. I'm gonna insert pictures kind of of what the layers look like while I'm doing it so you guys can get a better, you know, just so you can see. But anyway, so we're layering six wipes at the bottom and we did have to get a little bit creative on one of the parts so i'm going to show you on a second but we got our honest wipes that's the bottom layer so let me show y'all because it'll just be faster okay so we got wipes now we're going to layer diapers got a size one from millie moon i'm pretty sure i already showed y'all everything I think I'm gonna keep the diapers in the plastic if they fit. Like just break this in half and then try to keep them in there because I don't want them. Loose diapers is never fun. Like I feel like when people do diaper cakes and stuff like that, it's cute, but trying to take that home to somebody and then keep it organized is not the vibe. It's... Are you picking up what I'm putting down? So I'm gonna try to just cut it in half like this, but leave it so it doesn't get disorganized. I think I can fit probably like two of those. I might be able to squeeze three in there. Let's see. I wish sometimes that YouTube was live. That I could have y'all's opinions in real time. I mean, I could get on live, but. Okay. Fit one more in there. Maybe I can layer like this and fit all four. Okay, here, yeah, that'll work. Okay, we figured it out. So now we've got all the diapers. Let's show you. Oh yeah, me and my friend are gonna have a baby basket making competition for one of our family members who's having a baby. And I'm definitely gonna win. Where I'm definitely gonna win. Ain't that right? Your mama is the OG of the decorum. Now we're basically gonna fill the box up. I got these cute little bear hangers off of Amazon. I mean, who was the aesthetic queen? Please. I was about to quote Nicki Minaj, but I'm not even gonna do that on y'all right now. I'm gonna take all the baby clothes off of these hangers. I also did just get all six month clothing, just because I know most people get newborn or little clothes, but you don't ever know what size the baby's gonna be born. So I wanted, you know, to make sure that the clothes will be wearable. So got this on there. And then let me also show y'all what I'm gonna do for the clothes that are like sets that have bottoms attached to them. So 
so you guys can see how you keep those hanging up nice and cute. I feel like doing baskets like this would be such a good business and also luxury picnic. Like if I didn't do con, that's probably what I would be into. Like I would probably be doing stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? It brings me joy. I love creating cute little aesthetic things. Uh, I love that for me. But don't ask me to wrap anything. It's so funny. My brothers make fun of me all the time because they're like, you can do so much stuff, but you can't wrap a Christmas present. I'm not. No, I cannot wrap presents. Did you finish all your french fries? He's really just trying to stay up. He needs to go to bed. He's been trying to hang out with the big dogs lately. You're not there yet. Okay, so to make it cute, I'm going to use clothespins for the pants because they were originally on a hanger like this. But I'm just going to clothespin the pants to the collar of the shirt like this just so that they're hanging there. You could do safety pins. I was gonna do safety pins, but I didn't want anybody to be surprised by that and then poke themselves. It's coming together real nice. When I finish this, y'all gonna be like, <laughs> I picked up one more outfit because I had to run back to Target. Bless you, bless you. Ooh, you got boogered out. Ah, 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 ah. That is so yucky, boy. Got snot on my fingers. Lovely, that is disgusting. This one is cute because it's like slow down from, it's like a little diaper. I don't know, it's cute though. So I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna clip it up here at the top with the clothespin. Put it on a little bear hanger. Okay, I'm gonna put the ones with the clothespin in between the other clothes so their clothespins are kind of covered up. Okay, so we got all of our little outfits here. And then I wanted to do like a little swinging thing on here. I don't know if it's gonna work though, let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, so basically I'll insert a picture here of what I'm talking about, like where I got the inspo from, this girl on TikTok, but I couldn't find exactly what she had, but I did find this little basket here and I was going to tie it here. And then, I don't even know if this is big enough. It's like barely big enough. Oh no. I was gonna put the avocado here, like it's swinging. I think we can do it. I think we can do this. Let's fill up the basket with the other stuff first just to see because there's really not a lot of room left in the basket with all the diapers in there i might just have to like reassemble it once i get there if that makes sense because everything might look you fall out but okay so this is everything let me bring y'all closer just so you can see the basket i think this is going to be literally so adorable you guys oh my goodness i'm obsessed and this shit like this is what makes me have baby fever do I have any business having another baby? No. Will I be having another baby? No. But does it sound good? Yes, it does. I got the dinosaur because I thought maybe the color would look good. I might put him in the basket instead of the avocado. We'll just play around with it and see what looks cuter when the time comes. But we got a lot of other stuff, so I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't really wanna take everything out of the box. What if she doesn't want it? You know what I'm saying? Like what if she wants to return it? I don't know. See, I might just like set it up because I'm gonna be there early anyways. And like, I can just mark the gift table with my gift and I can put this like, can y'all see that? I can put this like just in front of the basket. Does that make sense? I don't know. Oh, I need to open it and then that's not what she, not what she was looking for. Okay, I might be able to shove some stuff back here. Okay, note to self, the diapers are gonna make everything really, really full. So I'm gonna have to keep that in mind for my competition. So I will win. Okay, we got bibs. Could low key dangle some stuff off of the edge. Got the shampoo, got this sound machine. I want that to be visible. See, it's kind of hard. I don't know. It's too big of a gap right there. The shoes over here. Gotta stand up straight, okay? We cannot have any type of sloppy presentation. Do you hear me? I don't know if the clothes should go in front or behind. Do you get what I'm saying? This is a hard decision. Okay, and then if we're swinging the avocado, he's gonna have to go like right there. Oh, this is gonna be cute. Tell me that's not cute. Yeah. Yeah. What if I did like this? Okay, here's what I'm thinking. All this stuff can't fit in there, but what if I like just tied it to the basket? Does that look bad? Cause I really didn't want to like open the stuff in case she like genuinely, you know, like, like I don't know if they're doing pacifiers or not. Like if she would want the pacifier. It would look cute or more aesthetic if I took it out the box and just threw it on there. I don't know. And then I don't want this blue messing with my vibe. You feel me? I don't know what to do. Cause we also got some washcloths. Maybe I'll put the bibs on a little bear hanger. There we go. All right, we got some bibs. We got a little baba with the dinosaur. 
Note to self, if you want to fill up the basket with like blankets and stuff, just do like a half pack of diapers. Because none of those swaddles or towels that I got are going to fit unless I like layer put them on there. But then, I don't know. I just don't see how that would work out. All right. Let's talk about this guy right here. I don't know why. I just want this to swing so bad. Since I saw that girl do it on hers, I think it will just be so cute. He got a little fat booty. He low-key even a bigger basket, but... Okay, anyways, we're gonna have to DIY this because they didn't have any twine or rope, whatever you want to call it, at Target. So I literally bought this entire thing for 10 bucks just so I could cut the rope off of it and use it to string my Mr. Avocado. And I have zero regrets. Look, well, maybe I could take oh, this out. You think I could take the styrofoam out and fit Buddy in here? Can I shove him in this basket? Let's see. I don't know if the phone is gonna come up. I should have went to Michael's, but I just didn't have time. Okay. Huh. I do everything so impatiently. Like I already got the string on here. Why did I do that? Let me see if I can fit him in here. Okay, let's see if we can squish him in here. That might be cuter. Then it looks like he's like popping out. We shall see. Put him on the outside too. Gotta untangle his strings. Inside the basket like this. Okay, maybe I'm not the queen of DIY, but you feel the vibes. I think he looks better right there. Okay. I'm gonna use this as our reinforcement string. Hopefully, it won't slip and fall. I wanna figure out a way to put those blankets down. Let's see what we're working with. Mm -hmm. If I take the blankets off the roll, just put them here. Yes. Say hello to my little friend. Is that you? Is that you, Papa? Let's see if I can work some magic on this. this over here. Say night night. Every night you take a bath and then you somehow end up <laughs> back dirty. You need to wipe your nose. What do you think about this? You think this looks okay? Does it look good? Yeah! It's mine and it looks good. It looks good. Can I wipe your nose? I know, sorry about that. Okay. I don't know if I like that bottle on there though. I thought the little bottle moment would be cute, but it's not exceeding my expectations, but it's cute-ish enough. Got some little hidden gifts there in the back. We managed to fit the majority of it in the basket. Okay, I think that's the best I can do. I'm a little rusty. Let's see. I think it still looks cute. Forgot about the little Jeffrey guy. Where should he go? We're gonna just tuck him away in the back. He's going in the back. Okay. Move these flowers out of the way. What are we thinking? What do y'all think about my basket? I wanted to do more greenery on the wood right here and have some like, you know, leaves and stuff, but I couldn't find anything at Target. I'm so sad. This whole thing is probably gonna have to get reset up, yeah. Come on, blankets. Do what you're supposed to do, please. I just want one cute picture of the basket. Like, is that too much to ask? That's it for now. <sighs> I gotta clean up the house. I was at my hair appointment today, and then what else? Oh, I got a wax. Yeah, yeah. Hype me up, yeah. You don't even know. Anyways, I got a wax. And a vajayshul today for the first time. And the vajayshul with like the steaming and everything like made the wax so painless. I had originally forgot my numbing cream at home and I was so scared. And I went to the girl that I had been going to like a while ago who's my brother's friend. If you remember, you remember, but I'm back going to her now. Yeah, she always does a good job. I went and got a wax from her. So I was over in that neck of the woods getting my hair done and my ball, baby. We are ready for up the country. Say so, yeah, yeah. You gonna miss me? Hmm? Are you gonna miss me? I'm gonna miss you. So, I miss waking up to your face and your hugs every morning. Don't forget about me, okay? Or I'll have to come back early. You feel me? Say good night. Good night. Say good night. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, silly boy. Okay. This battery is low-key finna die, and I don't know what to do about that. But anyways, I wanted to update you guys before I close out the vlog, because the next time I see you guys, we're going to be in the DR. 
Anyways, I got carried away. So, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I think we already did this. I already washed my face. I need to do my skincare though. But I'm sitting here like I'm finna do something for real. Brush my eyelashes. So, we are officially under contract for the house, which basically means that I... How do I explain this? Well, I'm trying to think of all the steps so I can tell you guys everything. Okay, so basically, I gotta change the camera battery. Be for real. I just summertime and that hoe is hard. Yeah, I'm my jacket, bro. Good morning, it's baby shower day. If you stretch my robe out, I'm gonna be mad. It's a jacket. It's a robe. It's a jacket. It's a long puff that goes all the way down with the strap. Bro, and I knew you were gonna try to steal my shit. Yeah. Ooh. I put my AR. Bye. You're not cuddling your shit? Coochie <laughs> <laughs> You're not even a crumb of coochie. <laughs> it's right there. Coochie crumbs. <laughs> hey, you. Good morning. Well, that's my jacket. I wanted to show you guys that I got. It's either one or two things in the morning. It's either chaos and cracking jokes, or everybody is dead ass mad. There's no. <laughs> There's no in between. Okay, well they're arguing. Look at these cute shoes I found at Steve Madden. They're giving like the Bottega sandals, but okay, they are disgusting in love. Shush, shush. But anyways, they're cute. You can get them in a whole bunch of different colors. I think I'm gonna go back and probably get like every color. But I needed the white ones for the trip because we're leaving in two days. Not even two days, we're leaving in like a day and a half. I'm starting to get excited. I've been really sad because like I don't want to leave my babies. Like I do not want to leave my kids. This is the longest time I'm ever going to be away from them or my ugly ass baby daddy. And I am just feeling very sad about that. Like I feel like I, I'm going to cry at least a couple times on the trip for sure. But anyways, I might come home early, but listen, listen, listen. I also found these little beach shoes because they match that little woven like purse and kind of like baskets that I got. So I figured I could wear these if I don't want to wear my little Gucci clogs. Those are two random things I just wanted to share with you guys. I talked to y'all last night when I was in the basket. So this morning is a whole ordeal because of these damn balloons. So I gotta leave here at nine o'clock and it's about to be, oh, it is eight o'clock. Aaron, hello. Bye. Like I was saying, I just want to come and like catch you guys up on like the process that we've gotten in home buying so far. So basically, we obviously got pre-approved through a lender, and then we went and started looking at houses. We looked at houses, we found a house, we put an offer in on the house. So you can put an offer on the house really without doing too much. If you're pre-qualified, then putting an offer in is really nothing because that's not to say anything. That's just letting the seller know you're interested. This is your offer, and then they can counter you. So we did end up negotiating. We came to just ending up at going 10k under listing and keeping the house as is, and then us as homeowners will replace the fence and finish the attic on our own because we could have come to an agreement on the price for the fence or the finished attic but we found contractors who can do it for less after we move in so that is just a little update on that and then basically after you go the seller accepts your offer then you go under contract so you basically have a lot of things that i didn't really know about that i feel like people don't talk about but you have to put down a deposit and then you have to give your it's like an earnest money deposit and then you're also basically putting one percent of the purchase price down on the home to hold the house or to let the buyer know that you're serious and so you have to do that within three days of signing your contracts or like going under contract, which is the stage that we're in right now is under contract. And that basically means that I am committed to the house. I have seven days to back out where I can still get my money back. So that 1% of the home that you put down or, and the seller can't go and take other offers for the home. They're legally bound to the offer they accepted from me. And so as long as everything goes fine going forward, it will be her home. So closing takes about 20 days. You have to do things in between that like inspection. So that's gonna be the next thing that gets done, but I won't be here while they're doing inspection. So Aaron will have to go because I'll be out of town. Yeah, so basically yesterday we just went through and signed all of the paperwork from the lender and from the realtor going to the seller, just put, basically putting us under contract for the home. So anyways, like I said, it's a lot of extra steps that I didn't really know about. Oh, there's also something called a survey and a title that you might have to get as well, which I don't really hear people talk about. So a survey, it's basically like saying this amount of land is yours and this is what you own so it's basically like a survey of 
the land, like saying how much you have or is your property. And then you also have to pay a title for the home as well, which can be included in closing costs or the seller can have their own title and they can pay for it. It just depends. So for me, my title ended up are being included in my closing costs. And then the survey, the seller had already got because it was a new build home. And so I didn't have to get the survey, but those are just things to think about. Cause I feel like they tell you to like have your money down in closing costs. You need to have double whatever you think you're gonna have. It's way more expensive than that. And then thinking about like, okay, you gotta buy a refrigerator when you move in, if you're missing any other appliances, there's just a lot of stuff, like way more that goes into it than just the surface level. Oh, have your, your down payment. It's a lot. It's a lot and it did get stressful for the last couple of days, but now everything is kind of like back cup aesthetic. So I just want to catch all up, keep you informed while I'm going through this process in case it can help anybody else. I will put my realtor in my DB if you guys, she works in Texas. Obviously I live in the Dallas area, but she's really good. She's super helpful. And because she was a first time homeowner, I want to say last year, the year before, she is like fresh to the experience and she's been really, 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 really helpful to me, like gone through everything with me, all the contracts, explaining everything to me, like what this is, what this means, because everybody won't do that. And if you don't know, you could end up, you know, say if you want to back out, losing your money or just losing money. Like you got to look at the fine print and every little detail, negotiate like literally every little thing. So basically that's where we're at. I think after inspection, I'm not exactly sure what happens after that. My, my realtor did tell me we could hop on a call and go through everything after that. I just got really busy yesterday and I wasn't able to. So I don't know exactly what happens after that, but I'll be back in town. So right now we're just... In the waiting process, hopefully we'll be able to close by mid-May. And then I think, I don't know if I told you guys or not, but the nice thing about when you get a mortgage after you put all the money down and stuff, you don't have to pay your mortgage for the next like two or three months, depending on your lender. So that will be nice because technically we'll still be like here in our lease here and then we'll be like moving into there. But my idea or like hopefully if it, everything goes as planned is like we'll be able to have like our designer because y'all know I said I'm hiring somebody to come and do the house because I just feel like I can't do it. And they can like order the pieces get the house set up before it's actually time for us to fully be living there or we could go live there it doesn't it doesn't matter but we'll basically have a lot of room time to move in so we'll have time to finish the attic and the fence if we want to i don't know if that's what we're gonna do just yet just because we're gonna be spending a lot a lot of money I'm supposed to be getting ready and multitasking and now it's 8 15 and all i've done is sit here and talk but that's because i'm like i don't know what to do i just need to get dressed but i'm naked i can't get dressed and talk to y'all at the same time because i'm naked do you but i'm already done i just need to relay my edges a teeny tiny bit that's basically where we're at now all of that happened over this past week sorry if this vlog was a little chaotic a little all over the place this weekend i'm not gonna really be vlogging until i go to the yard because i'm just gonna be like getting the house ready spending time with the boys the baby showers obviously today and then tomorrow sunday and then maybe we're gonna leave we're out the door i don't remember i'm gonna insert a picture of what the basket ended up looking like and the balloons at the baby shower but that's where i'm um, headed to go right now i gotta go drive by target pick up some command hook strips to hang the balloons oh and some rubber bands and then we're gonna be headed over there i gotta drive over there drop the balloons off come back pick up the kids and then go back so i'm trying to just be ready because it's 30 minutes away so it's gonna take me like it's basically like what i gotta drive there I gotta drive back Gonna be, I'm gonna be in the car for like an hour and a half. So that's the update on that. We'll be taking a pause from all of this. So I just wanna like catch you guys up to where we're at now because we're about to be on vacay and we ain't doing shit on vacay, but vacation, okay? And then Mello's birthday is right when we get back too. So right when we get back from the DR, we're gonna be straight into Mello's birthday, finishing up everything with the house and packing. We're gonna start packing and then we've got New York. We've got a lot, girl, we we got a lot. I still gotta book that. I gotta do that this weekend too. Cause we're trying to decide like where we want to stay in New York. And there's just a lot of good hotel options to choose from. So yeah, anyways, I have, we have to arrange somebody to keep the kids while we go to New York and stuff. So that's, yeah, anyways, it's been, the brain appears. <laughs> I am about to put on, I think, I want to wear the outfit that I got from House of CB because I can't think of anything else to wear to this baby shower. I was like, how dressed up do I need to be? You know, it's like a baby shower and it's not mine. So like, I was thinking about wearing a dress, but hey Siri, what's the weather? It's so cold. Yeah, see, it's 50. I can't even wear that outfit from House of CB because it's straps. It's spaghetti straps and it's cold outside. I don't have any clean clothes because I didn't send out the laundry yet. What do I need to do today? Shit, 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 shit. What should I do, guys? I'm gonna do this all denim look. I feel like this would be super cute. But again, it's 50 degrees outside. What is a girl to do? I really don't know what to put on right now. I don't even got a skimmed shirt that's clean. I got a pair of pants and that's it. 
All the new clothes I bought are vacation clothes. I should have thought about this before because I low key need to leave. Like, hey, sup? I don't even know where any of my jeans are. Like, all my jeans just appeared. I already took a shower. I'm just throwing on a little bit of deodorant. I'm gonna go and look and see around the house if I can find some clothes. I'll come back. I'll show you guys a little OTD before we go. If you care about that, if not, this is the end of the vlog. So, I'll see you in another one.